Well, welcome back, everybody. We're here for part two of our Sorcerer Endbringer playthrough with designer, artist, and Sorcerer Supreme, Peter Schultz. Peter, how are you doing today? Hi, all. Well, great. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> last week, as you may have seen in the notes, we had some technical difficulties. My internet service provider just shut down on me and Fortunately, it was kind of a good break in timing because we were just getting ready to start the game. So this gives us a good yes. jumping off point now. But before we get started, Peter, did you... I know before the stream, you were talking to me a little bit about some changes. Did you want to talk about those now or maybe um, after the game? We can we, we can talk about it after the game, definitely. Yeah, right. after the game. All right, great. <clears throat> So when we last left our uh, sorcerers, mm -hmm. I know uh, you were about to take the first turn on the game. So I will okay. let you do that. OK, so I will do it. Um, so OK, a little hint for everyone who is playing sorcerer. Uh, always, uh, always, just a second. Just... Yeah, always. Uh, uh, always uh, receive your action counter first, so you yeah. don't forget it. Yes, okay, so... that's, a, that's a big thing <laughs> that I often forget, and I'm like, oh, you know what? I just need to do it at the beginning of my turn before I do exactly. anything, so I don't forget. Exactly. Yes, yes. Okay, so I will now play uh, 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 definitely con concubine. Okay, so. I will play a Coven Concubine here, and I will use my Blood Lord card to add uh, to add. Uh, just a second. Okay, uh, I will add a Blood Counter on my Blood Pool. <clears throat> so, just a second. Okay, two Blood. Perfect. So I will add two blood. Sorry, I am a little bit slower with this tool. No, that's all right. For and for those of you who weren't here last week, you should check out that stream. Um, this this is uh, Peter's relatively new to tabletop simulators, so I was kind of teaching him how to um, manipulate different objects, and I figured playing a game yeah. too was a good practice exercise and using some of those skills. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I will I will uh, check out his response. So early can for me. I think F F is the flip card. Yep. Okay. So what he says: frightful presence. The executioner emits a feeling uh, below as his as he wing as he swings his enormous two-handed axe in great arcs, cleaving everything in its path. So choose one, lose an omen, or generate a generate a hate counter. Um, uh, I will gladly use my omen. It's uh, <laughs> definitely a better option than or not. Let me see the tactics. Evil minion, evil is minion, and evil is the same as minion. Because with the omen tokens, it's very important. Uh, okay, now I'm playing sorcerer. I'm using omen tokens like mostly defensively <clears throat> so that means i am rerolling your rolls i'm yeah. waiting when you will roll double or critical and then uh, this is the point where i am spending moment um so what i'm doing right now i'm checking his tactic card on the demiurge uh, on his archetype because with the omen token you can reroll the tactic redraw and that's that that can be important because there can be some nasty tactics you need to avoid like the evolved evolved twice. Okay, let's say I will generate the hate counter. Uh, All right, Rick, can you can you help me with those things? Because yeah, it will Oop. Be uh, don't want to move Ehrlich himself. Here's the hate counters. Here, if I can just grab one. There we go. Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm gonna lock his card down on the table and this and this so that those don't go anywhere. Awesome, awesome. So I will I will discard his card and you are good to go. All right, great. Uh, it looks like maybe we do have uh, one of your friends on the stream. Um, 
saying hello. Oh, hello. If if there will be any question, you just just tell me because I did not I didn't see the chat or anything. I am totally focusing on the on the tabletop simulator. All right, I'm going to take my first action. Fortunately, I had a little bit of time to look over my cards before and figure out what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Council of Three okay. out, to, ooh, uh, out to my battlefield here. They cost okay. two energy to play. Okay. And then I can search my Grimoire for up to three cards and put them into my graveyard. So mm -hmm. I will go into here and search for some good cards that I can resurrect later. It's always the tough part, not being as familiar. Now let's see, with my with my ability to raise the dead, mm -hmm. does that have to be one of my necromancy cards? Play them in your, nope, it does not. Uh, you know, I could definitely. Have a time, Mike. I definitely wouldn't mind putting him in there as one that I could pull out. And then let's see, maybe, maybe get some vengeful mummies in there because you can play those out yes. of the graveyard. So we'll put a vengeful mummy and another vengeful mummy. Uh, give me some fodder to work with, and then I will shuffle my deck. And, and then, you forget one thing. Oh, what's up? Think. Uh, let's see. When play Jimmy Sears, uh, most uh, usually forgetting think until the first battle will came. Then you will just. <laughs> then you will be sad that you forget it. Oh. I see exactly what you mean. This is another thing I forget <laughs> quite often. Okay. <laughs> so I gained my omen, <clears throat> and now Ehrlich is going to do his thing. Let's see what he's going to do. Um, it's an ongoing ability. This is a condition. Whenever an allied minion is exhausted, generate a hate counter. That's super bad. Um, if, if I can ask you, Rick, uh, I know it's more time consuming, but I definitely playing only this way. Please don't leave oh, the flavor text behind. Yes. So it <clears> says <throat> the executioner's intense hatred of this world seems contagious, uh, <laughs> filling his troops with rage and loathing. Uh, okay. This guy, this guy's a real angry guy. So let's see. We'll put that. We'll put this up above his card. And the only way ah. we can get rid of this is playing paying three omens. After we, um, as a tactic, after we trigger one of our cards in battle. Oh yeah. So I need to get another omen. So and, and it's of course of it's three omen. It's three omens per player, of course. Oh, three per player. Yeah. So you have to pay six to get. Oh rid no! Of that? At the, and this time, yes, yes, I think yes. Uh, I don't know three per player because there there needs to be there needs to be a. Uh, no, it seems like this is only three omens. At all. Yeah. I that's the way that we played it. It seemed like it would be super hard if we both had to put three because omens are so hard to come by. But uh Just, but that... give me a second. No, no, sure. it's definitely three per player because of the scaling of the game. Just give me a second. That's definitely per player. Uh I think it might be the next page. Yeah, I got it. Oh, it's distraction cost. Uh, 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 uh. Do you see? Can you see it? Uh, I thought somewhere it described the difference between conditions and. And I think it might have been earlier. Oh, okay, flip to the next page. Oop, go back one. Or, yeah, effect. If it is a condition, place it next to the oversized nemesis card. It stays in play, and its effect is ongoing. Whenever a player's minion attacks as a tactic, that player may pay omens equal to any condition's destruction cost to destroy that condition. 
putting into the Nemesis discard pile and ending its effect. So it sounds like rules as written right now, it's just that player. Okay, is... I will discuss this with Rob because uh, the, the issue thing is with the scaling. Uh, in solo, it's definitely worse than in... Uh... Or not, you had one, you are in one card. No, it's okay, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It was. Okay, it was a former design, but each and every player is 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 playing an action on its. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so three, that's, of course three. Yeah. The that's okay. It's what's funny is I do so a lot of beta testing, and it's, sometimes you get it's easy to get mixed up of what version of things actually stay. No, 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 stay no, no, no. It's definitely <laughs> no, no. It's definitely as is. Okay. 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 Everything. Awesome. Is okay. So, that makes me feel uh, so way better. Because uh, at first there was it was that each player. Uh, then, uh, but then I changed that after each player's uh, after each player's action, you are drawing his card, so the scaling is okay. Okay, nevertheless, sorry. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's that's all for me, and he took his action, so now it's back to you. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Hmm. Mm, okay, I will see what he will go. I, I will go into spectator mode. That means I am just at two energy. All right. Uh, I'm calling it the spectator. So you are you are you are basically waiting for your opponent. What he will do. And two energy is always good. <clears throat> so yes. Flamestorm. The executioner points his axe into the air, and the sky stirs red. Second later, flaming meteors smash down all around you. Nice. Choose one, randomly discard a card, or generate a hate counter. Mm. Uh... Mm. Okay, let's make it fun. Uh, I will discard the card randomly, definitely. Um, so a the good question way is to... how I will do it. <laughs> good way to do this. We'll take all your cards. Oop, can I grab them here? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll put them. Um... Down here on the table. Okay, flip it down and, and we'll shuffle flip it. it. Mm -hmm. Oop, uh, flip that. Okay. Yeah, we'll flip it and shuffle it, and then we'll draw one. Uh, and the one that's going to go is that one. Oh, okay. That's not bad. And then you can just hover over it and type the four <clears> key, <throat> and it'll draw them all back into your hand. The type what? The four? four? four. Yep. Since uh, oh, yeah, okay, perfect. Draw four. Okay, oh, okay, I see. Uh, okay, Rick, so it's now time to discuss uh, what we will do. Uh, at least one of us needs to destroy the the condition, the condition just did not need can't stay there. Or whenever and million and million is exhausted. Oh, no, 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 that's not, that's, that's not. so. Uh, so, what we what, what we need to do. Is to destroy the fuel by hatred condition ASAP. So the best way how to do it is the first minion that will attack will attack and destroy. Uh, so we will see. not generate the hate counters. Uh, and the first minion that will be attacking is my concubine or anyone of who will get there. Yeah. Uh, but the issue is I have only one omen. What I can do is to generate more omens, and how to do it is. Why are the sorcery card? And I will do it. Okay, perfect. So, Either that, uh, or if you wanted me to, I have a I have a sorcery that I was planning on playing to bring back one of my bring back my vampire lord, <clears throat> my Wallachian blood lord back uh, from the dead. I see, but it it will not help us because, uh, okay, if you will, uh, if you will play a minion on my battlefield, I mean on the left one. You will be able to attack first and destroy it. But uh, I have I have an Eldritch study at hand, so I can uh, I will definitely will search uh, my grimoire for a sorcery card, and this will bring me plenty of omens. So okay, all right. In that case, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll go back to my other thoughts and mm -hmm. just make sure here. Oop. Uh, oh, that's going to be handy. That I can't play right now, and I don't want to. I think this is expensive, but I think I'm going to take my action, move my marker. Oop, 
and I'm going to spend all four of the energy I have to put mm -hmm. this. Now, I wonder if I should put him there. There's no reason for me to put him there as far as gain Let's effects. Maybe I should put him in this battlefield? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, any battlefield uh, which is unopposed is not good. Okay. Yes. Because we will we will receive direct damage. Uh, what I what I uh, what I want to tell you is that the pacing of the game is a little bit changed. It's a different gaming experience than it, as, as if you are playing against a rival. I mean, against the other player, <clears throat> mm -hmm. because many times here you need to play defensively. You really need to think about not going berserk. In the rival mode, usually you it's about the blood thing. So yeah, I will put one minion on one battlefield, and then you will focus your force, and you you are not knowing that uh, I will focus on the other two, and so on and so on. And there are many yeah. of those things. This time is different. It's good that we will have some uh, some some bodies uh, on on each battlefield. Uh, maybe <clears throat> there are better players than me, definitely, and uh, everyone has its own style. How I am playing, if I will tell any advices during this gameplay, do not take it as a as a holy words because I am the creator of it. No, no, no. There are plenty <laughs> of better players than me. Uh, so everybody is playing on his own. This game is my creation, of course, but I am also only a player and I have my capacities and my play styles. But my play styles is defense. I, I I, I really love to play defensively, and so so that's my recommendation to have a body on each on each uh, on each battlefield. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that scares me about getting minions out early, kind of like reflecting on how you play in a versus game, is I know sometimes there are cards that can come up that force you to. I think some stuff can force you to destroy stuff on the battlefield, but yes, I'm but okay. uh, but uh, Rick, there is one thing. Uh, I'm thinking that I was thinking that playing like in the rival game, like in the basic sorcerer against the player, there is a good strategy to just wait for your opponent what he will do. So mm -hmm. that usually it means that you will draw a card or add an energy and just waiting for your opponent. In this case, it's not the best way because many of cards are like deal two damage on your minion or generate the hate counter. At that time, you want to have some res other responses than, uh, than go straight uh, for the head, because there are many times deal five damage. That means that if we didn't have any minion on the battlefield, it goes straight to our direct defense. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. good to have ASAP minions on the table in the end bringer. That's yeah, really a... the best way you can do. Just bring the bodies on the on the uh, on the battlefield ASAP. Let the bodies mostly... hit the floor. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> My favorite song. Uh, so uh, the important thing is <clears throat> drop the bodies to the floor ASAP. Yeah. Uh, so you will have uh, mostly uh, mostly all of those cards, as you can see, uh, like those three cards that we play. Uh, we have a choice. We had a simple choice. Discard a card from hand or I don't know, lose an omen or exhaust the minion. It's always a perfect thing that you will have resources. So manage your cards carefully so you can discard to not generate an hate counters. Mm. Have a bodies on the floor and generate omen tokens and leave there. Play yeah. carefully, play defensively, and manage your resources. This uh, this uh, this gaming experience is is different, definitely different than sorcerer. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, uh, Ehrlich gets to go now. What yeah. bad things do we get to experience next? <laughs> uh, as the executioner screams in rage, uh, fires spontaneously erupt all around you. Uh, we deal two damage to an allied minion. And it's got cross swords, so it has to be in one of these two battlefields. Yes. So let's see. Two damage. Uh, that would destroy Council of Three. That would not destroy Indisputable Sovereign. So I'm thinking maybe we let Indisputable Sovereign take it. Exactly. And then also, because that's good too, because whenever 
um, it takes damage. Uh, it can Rick, weaken a man. Right now, right now, with this decision, you saved your minion. Uh, I mean, with the decision to put a body on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it was good that I got this guy out here, because yes. otherwise we would have had to destroy in uh, the Council of Three. So Indisputable Sovereign takes two damage, but because of its ongoing effect, whenever it gets a damage counter, I can choose oh. either to weaken a minion <laughs> or gain an omen. I'm and now tell me how 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 clever it was to play him. Yes, it worked out well. I'm thinking maybe mm -hmm. weakening this this guy mm -hmm. twice. That's what mm -hmm. I'm feeling. Because these guys are pesky uh, enough to get rid of as it is. Rick, I am pretty sure that your decisions are good, so go for it. All right, so I'm going to grab damage counter. And damage counter, weaken this guy down. And that is all for me. It is over to you. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, one, one thing uh, maybe to, 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 to know me a little better. Uh, I never was, and I'm not a fan of alpha players. So you do not need to ask me the things. Even if you will do something bad, I will, I will, I will not tell you. Uh, it's it's much important for me that you will make your own decision than to make a good decision. So yeah. Uh, so yes, ask me if you need to just discuss something, but do not ask me if you are doing it good. Yeah, you are always doing it good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but of course, we need to speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we can talk tactically, so, but exactly, um, exactly. you don't want to tell me what to do. Yes, Be yes, like, yes. oh, no, don't play that guy there. Play him over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I will. Uh, my plan right now is to, uh, to gather some moments. It's necessary for me. So I will, I will uh, use an action. I will use an action. Uh, I will play one. And I will play the Eldritch study, uh, which states, uh, search a grimoire uh, for a sorcery not named Eldritch study, obviously, and pay it with its cost lowered by one. Okay, so search your grimoire. I think I will flip it the whole deck. And how I search my grimoire, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. So you're going to um, we'll flip this back over. Right click on top of your deck mm -hmm. and then choose the search option. It'll open up a window on the right and you'll have oh. all your cards there displayed on the right. I see. Amazing. And then you can okay. pull cards from there as well and pull them onto the table. That's amazing. Okay, perfect. So let's see. I have plenty of sorceries in my disposal. Okay, I think this is a no brainer. I mean, exhaust a non legend minion. Yes, it's the no brainer thing. Uh, I definitely will do this. Or do one damage to each enemy minion on a single battlefield. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, uh, Rick, can you can you check, please? Uh, the, 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 uh, how much essence? Uh, have the minions on my battlefield. Let's see. On your battlefield, we've got one with two, and we've got one with five. Okay, that's bad. And the other things? Because the question is, uh, should I play a card that will uh, do one damage to each? Mm -hmm. No, definitely not. Okay, I am uh, I am playing Hydroblast. Uh, that card. Okay, uh, how I... Okay, and perfect. this one, this one is going back in your deck. This one here. Yes, 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 yes. yes. All right, and then you can just uh, uh, hit the arc button over your deck to shuffle it, since you searched it. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yeah. R. Okay, shuffled. Uh, now the one omen token, definitely. Uh, two omen tokens. One for Eldritch study. The second one for the hydroblast. Oop, and I will. I will exhaust, let me see, the biggest one. So I will I will rotate this one. Okay. I rotated the guy there. 
So I think I'm good, right? Yeah, I think so. And so now we get oh, more no, fun no, no. times. Uh, I didn't pay two energy, one energy for the Hydro Blast. Oh, okay. One energy for the Hydro Blast. Oh, okay. My friend just told me that that's a good approach, Peter. He's uh, the guy on the on the on the Twitch chat. It's my close friend, and he's uh, one of the lead testers of the Sorcerer Daniel. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, he's he's on on uh, he's on board with me like more than five years. So, uh, nice. yeah. So, uh, I think that's good. Uh, we will see early Khan. What what is his plan? Okay, so reckless hate. The executioner rolls and he charges towards you. Yeah, I can manage. Why? <laughs> receive damage equal to the receive them. Receive damage equal to the number of hate counters on early can. Oh, that's and not uh, we will bad. receive. Yeah. Well, you have some defense on there. So because this receive damage is not a direct damage. Yes. So basically, you can you can at least deal one damage to the council of three. That's oh, true. Yeah, because I can split it up. Yeah, because it's not direct damage, right? Yep. And I think we can we can get uh, one additional damage because he has two hate counters, so one defense minus. So we have fifty nine defense, and we are good. We are really right. really on good shape right now. All right. Yeah, things are looking pretty good so far. Um, the one thing I'm going to do on my turn. Before I forget, is I'm going to use uh, Sigismund's ability. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to get some of these covens out because I think they could be handy. Which one did I want to play? I, not that one yet. Not that one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my hunting ground. And where would you say we put it? Just on top of the battlefield? Yeah, uh, I mean that uh, we have a we have a we have end of the world and there is a big boss which is just want to tear us apart and you are manager hunting that you know. <laughs> <laughs> that way, when we get our stuff blown up, blown okay. up, we can uh, we can heal a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so the village there, the little fish fish village there that was already ravaged by the Endbringer, you, you just made this a hunting ground for the vampires. That's how I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What say you, Erlik Khan? Erlik Khan is fueled by destruction. Erlik Khan just stands and watches the armies clash. He seems more than satisfied with the death and destruction that surrounds him. Uh, we receive four direct damage. So that one, we don't have okay. a choice. We okay. have to take okay. it. I know, longer. but right now, right now, I, I have one remark. As you can see on this card, there are cross swords. And there, there does not need to be cross swords. We have plenty uh, of those cards. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's bad. Uh, this will not be in the final. It's one thing that will be patched. How to say patch? Uh, we can use the patch. Gotcha. Uh, in, in next patch, it will be one thing that will be corrected are those cross swords that don't, doesn't need to be there. OK. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so that's all for me. I gave us the four damage on our shared defense counter. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love my three cards on my hand. So what I will do is to exhaust the skill card of Ragnar. Uh, as I said, it's good to have resources. So I have only three cards left on my hand, so it'd be really good to play something from the Grimoire. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh, oh, oh, um. How I will, uh, sorry, how I can rotate the card? R? Oh, no, yeah. Uh, Q and E will rotate it. Okay, got it. Okay, so Q, perfect. Uh, because I always using the right click and it's not as. Okay, so Raganhar. Exit this skill card to search a Vimoir for a Spirit World card and play it with Cause Lovered by one. Perfect. So uh, I will search. Search and I will put out the, the wolf. I will stop the search. I will flip them, play it on the battlefield where Ragnar is. 
and I will. Who was the first player? Uh, that was you, yes. Okay, so action tracker. And uh, two energy for the wolves. And wolves are, I think, when destroyed, exactly. Okay, so early Khan is doing his own thing. Okay, so I think I doesn't forget anything. So let's see. Earthshaker. Early Khan slams the ground with his giant axe, sending out a shockwave that tosses your minions uh -huh. out like toys. Exhaust an allied minion if you can't generate the hate counter. All right. So it's not a it's not an option. We have to do it. Let's go ahead now and exhaust them. Now it's now it's perfect thing that you have these zombie girls because it protects and saves our four attack minion from to be exhausted. Mm -hmm. So now it's 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 a perfect example again to have resources on the table in your hand and on and in the omen pool. So yeah. All right. Yeah, your your friend said we are playing very interesting combinations. I'm assuming he means about the decks we chose. I'm very yes, happy yes, with mine. Yes. I think the necromancy is going to be super helpful for being able to get yeah. stuff out on the field. And, and Daniel, Daniel, you see, I I am playing powerhouse. I mean, Ragnarok, <laughs> the Blood Lord, and and then the Royal Palace. Some guys uh, are playing sorcerer in a way that they are pretty really competitive guys, like. Uh -huh. uh, uh, one of one of the lead testers is the is the former champion national champion of the world of Warcraft PCP, and uh, he he distributed like like the three tier levels uh, of of some sets and and a royal a royal palace is tier one definitely is one of the yeah. best that's it's uh, mostly the sorcerers and so on but it was not my oh, intention yeah. to, to get the powerhouse we have a randomization so. yeah royal palace okay. is yeah. nice. In, in Sorcerer, it definitely can be some sets more, uh, how to say, uh, more 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 likely to play, more obviously to play because mm -hmm. Necromancer. If you want to win with it, you need or you really need to know it. You really need what to uh, need to have this uh, information, what to do, and so on. And some sets are pretty straightforward, right? Like the Blood yeah. Lord, you just gathering blood and like a hit with it, everything you got. Uh, so, so yeah, that's, that's it. All right. Great. Well, I'm going to, speaking of the necromancer, I'm going to take my next action to activate this card, the skill card, and I'm going to put a zombie minion into play for free. Mm -hmm. And, uh, whenever you play a zombie minion, you may exhaust a skill card to weaken a non-legend minion twice. So we will... I think it's this guy that's got four. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give him two weakenings. Oops. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I want a minion. Weaken a minion twice. I can weaken a minion twice also. And then we can just kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, we are in the good shape, I think. But yeah, we will see. so far. We will see. We will you see. never know. Sometimes, sometimes things can turn around very quickly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, flamestorm. The executioner points his axe into the air, and the sky turns red. Seconds later, yeah, the flaming magic. meteors smash down yeah. all around you. So we have to discard a card, or generate, or I have to discard a card, or generate a oh, counter. How many cards do you have? I have four cards in my hand. It's a pretty decent hand. Uh, Which... Rick, it's up to you. I, if I you know. Are the hate counter, you can, but <laughs> I, okay, uh... pardon the pun, I hate giving him hate. And anyway, so yes, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna course, deal with it. Course. The nice thing about Necromancer is I've always got cards I can play because I can just pull them from my graveyard. Uh, basically, Rick, we can we can get to this global damage, right? Because it's global damage. I mean, yeah. I, I'm speaking, but whenever there are five or more hate counters on this card, remove five of them and receive five global damage, okay? So okay. Uh, if I can, one thing I can tell, tell you that playing against Early Khan, if he has four hate counters, give him the fifth one. So he will already be again on zero because there are cards that are escalating yeah, true. Based, based on the number, yeah, right? So 
If we will have a four day contest, we will give him five. If I just thought of something too. His condition, I think, would have taken effect when we chose to exhaust Council of Three because it says that whenever an allied minion is exhausted, he generates a hate. So he would have generated a hate when we were forced to exhaust Council of Three, if I'm not mistaken. Well, at least you, uh, Vengeful Mummy is a great shield. Basically, for one action, you are negating two damage. Mm -hmm. So that could be our shield. Yep. That's uh, that's what we really need because we're gonna get a lot of damage coming from these guys, especially <laughs> in know. these two battlefields. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna to, be. We need to, we need to destroy them. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all for my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so okay, I'm using the action, and I will play. I will play a vampire covenant here. For four, I drop to zero. And uh, I am generating one blood via the Coven Concubine and gain one omen. So that's she's really okay. Sorry, I put a token from them your deck. Where are the omens? Oh, there. Okay. Right here, yeah. Uh, so I have an omen and I get a blood pool. Okay, so we have three blood. That's something that we can work with. I think I need one additional blood. How many? We have one last action. Damn it. Damn it. That's bad. Well, let's see. What's, uh, what's her deal? Whenever a minion is destroyed, including this one, gain a blood. So our only choice other than... No, it, it, it is okay. Okay, I, I will manage. It, it will be perfect. Okay, okay, I drew one additional omen uh, just for the voiceless covenant on default. All right. Okay, guys, don't forget one important thing. The capacity for the Endbringer, for our opponent, is limitless. He does not have any capacity on his side of battlefield. In our case, you have a capacity of four minions in a solo play for each battlefield. We have six minions when we are playing two. And in three player game, we have eight minions per battlefield capacity. That's that's a pretty pretty common question. Yeah. I know that was a surprise to me because I was like, oh, I thought they were just limited to four per side and no, they are not. Spared us some Thanks grief. Of, okay, Earthshaker. Early can slams the ground with his giant X, sending out a shockwave that tosses your minions about like a toys. Exhaust oh, an allied no. minion if you can generate a hate counter. Or we will generate uh, a hate counter, definitely. No, no, we will generate a hate counter. Yeah, we with need, them being we need so to high. Uh, exactly. And okay. the thing is, too, since we exhausted one, his condition fires off and he gets another mm -hmm. one. So that'll clear yeah. his hate counters and he'll do five yeah. damage, I think it is. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so you can go. Okay, I will definitely tell you. Does he have already five? He did. Okay. He had three. Your uh, your card gave him a fourth, and then his condition gave him a fifth. Okay. Okay. We, okay. We forget it. Okay. Fueled by hate. Okay. No. So I will take two damage into the walls, definitely. So that's two damage for them. Uh, I oh, can so. uh, voiceless covenant. I will put voices one damage on voiceless covenant. I will put one damage on covenant concubine, and you can put one damage. One damage on the, on the mummy. mummy. Yeah, yeah. That works. And we are good. We are okay. We are cool. We are. We are fine. All right. Uh, I, I mean, got... I will. I will not put a damage on the covenant concubine. And I will put damage on our defense because Coven Concubine is a pretty good card for the future for me. Okay. I will not risk it. <clears throat> All right. I've only got two more turns left. Mm -hmm. I've got no energy at the moment. If I take a turn to gain energy, I'd be able to play my Raise the Dead, which might not be bad. That'd give me an omen, and I'd be able to get another guy out on the battlefield. So I well, think if you have if you have raised that, you have a Lord of One that. And that's that will just 
They will just bring a additional four attack to the battlefield, and he's he has four attacks. Oh. So you you can bring with the Lord of the Dead like eight attacks. Yes, yes, I can get him back. So yeah, I'm gonna spend my turn action tracker moved to channel and get two energy. And then I'll see what Ehrlich Khan is going to do. And... Yeah, uh, somebody, somebody wrote to that it's a beautiful presentation, Rick. Yes, uh, that's that, uh, that's what I told you, Rick. Uh, really great presentation. No, oh, thank you. All right, so Ehrlich Khan, he's got a frightful presence. He emits mm -hmm. a deafening bellow as he swings his enormous two-handed axe and great arcs, cleaving everything in his path. We either lose an omen or we generate a hate counter. Mm -hmm. um, now, with that card, is that a choice for us to, like, I can or you could? Or does it no, have no, no. to be it's me? You. It's you. It's you. Okay, because I drew it. Um, since you've got plenty of omens over there, you'll be able to clear the condition out. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one of my omens and discard it to satisfy that card. Mm-hmm. And then that's it for me. <clears throat> okay, so uh, my last action will be definitely only two energy or, or draw two cards. In that case, always go for the cards. So I will draw, I will draw two, right? I will just draw two. Okay. Okay. And I was thinking that I will get some wolf here, but I didn't. Well, fine, early come. That's bad. I, I, I was really expecting some wolves. Huh. Uh, this turn allied minion with an attack of five or more. Damn it, that's good. Uh, we do not have, we do not have. Oh. We do not have. We do so not we have. can't do it. Yes, the, the cool thing is that early Khan sometimes just do stuff that it can really happen so uh you will not so we know that this card exists so it will be good to not put a minions with an attack of five or more on battlefields where he is yes you know what i mean so we we need to count with it in future that he has this card so we we just we just do not do this yeah we will find a, a you do not have any issues with that because your main your main uh, the source of power is uh, via the combination of cards. So basically, you will play the, the the Lord of the Undead, and you get into this powerhouse that you want. You do not yeah. have a particular one single minion, which is a powerhouse. That's not my case. I have some of them, like the big vampires. Yeah, so the vampires. Yeah. Put, I will not try to put them on the battlefield where he is. Uh, I'm just speaking because somebody asked me, uh, or, or not asked me, or or even the not complaining, but the tell that it's it's really unbeatable or it's it's really hard. Such thing like uh like like checking what he's doing, what you can expect is really crucial. Uh, you cannot win hmm. avoiding those things. Well, <laughs> okay. And, and what I think is funny is the flavor text too says he seems pleased to see you destroy de deploy to de seems to play. <laughs> Seems pleased <laughs> to see you deploy your mightiest minions to face him. He's disappointed yeah. because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Last action of this round. I am going to spend my two energy as planned. I am going to play this sorcery. Uh, and that will get me an omen. Let me grab it before I forget. Oop. And it lets me play a minion from my graveyard, cost Lord by four, but then I got to damage it all the way down to one. So we're going to play Lord of the Dead. As we said, that he's perfect in this graveyard. Now, I forget, since I'm raising him from the dead, do I get his omen again, or is that just only when I play him out of my hand? No, no. Every, if, anytime you play a card from anywhere, you get an omen. Okay. All right, well, that's uh, awesome, too. By the way, for those people that ask me why the Necromancer is my favorite set, and uh, they they are not, uh, they, they simply cannot win with it. They, they do not want, they, they, are, they are obviously losing with this deck. There is one single advice, play around him. 
your play needs to be focused around the Lich Lord. All right. If you do not have it in your hand, you will definitely have uh, the Council of Three. So be sure that one of those Lich Lords will hit your will hit your graveyard. <clears throat> so you can raise them back and cause havoc. Exactly. All right. Uh, it's on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No. We oh, both no, took no, all our better. turns. Yeah. It's battle time. So we start in the leftmost battlefield. Uh, you get to act first since Ehrlich Khan's not there. Mm -hmm. I am. I will attack with uh, with Voiceless Covenant. I'm thinking because Spirit Wolves, okay, they have only one essence left, but I really want to hit him hard right now. I will attack with the Voiceless Covenant, definitely. Okay. I'm attacking with the Voiceless Covenant, and I'm using my two blood to give it a plus two to attack. And I'm using a tactic uh, when I am just, uh, I will use three omens, and please just get rid of his card. Uh, and even oh. I get exhausted before, I, I, will, I get exhausted before, so he will generate a hate counter, definitely. Okay. Yep. Since exhausting is the first thing you need to do uh, when attacking. So yep. my tactic is slower than he exhausts. Uh, okay. So but definitely I, definitely good move to get that right away because otherwise we're going to be feeling the pain much no, more. No, no, it's this. Uh, immediately when this card hits the table, we just, we just know that this is the main focus uh, ASAP to get rid of it because it will kill you. Um, okay, so six dice. I know that you are. I know that you have the, your own uh, style, but I I prefer it like this way. All right, no problem. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm good with it. Okay, so five damage is okay. Yeah, I will leave. I will leave omens definitely to for future. For conditions okay five damage is cool uh so five damage it means that uh the minions will uh, will receive the damage at first until they will have one left remaining health uh by the way what was the idea of it uh, the idea uh of the, the minions will need to get them first is that they are just protecting the monoliths and in a moment that we, they will have only one uh, essence remaining, they will cover up. They do not want to die. <laughs> okay, so how much damage did I do? Uh, five. Uh, I think five. Okay, so so it's pretty obvious. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and we and five. hopefully we can get a crit so we can take Mr. Five damage out. Exactly. So but, uh, let's see. So it's most it's actually Mr. Five damage is going to attack first, right? No, no, no. He's exhausted. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. That was a, that was good. Yes. Yeah. So just uh, Mr. So two damage. Mr. Two damage, and uh, we will we will uh, draw him. Uh, oh, it's attack. A tactic. Well, well does he get a tactic? Yes, everyone. I thought it was. Meeting. I thought it was just where um, Ehrlich Khan was at. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Okay, that's my fault. That's uh, all right. Okay, we will flip it. Okay. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> so two damage. <laughs> uh, two damage. So one damage will go to the concubine. Second damage will go to 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 the covenant. Okay. It was good that I uh, that I or. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, it's good. It's good to, to, to have it this way. So let's attack with the uh, with wolves. So three dice. So it's one, two, three. Let's make a good throw. Oh, yeah, there's uh, the crit. Okay. Okay. I will. I will... Like there. 
now. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay, so one critical. Uh, I will definitely use the critical to to get rid of this guy. Okay. Uh, so can you can you manage it with this? It will be better with this. Oop. Uh... Fine. So I will attack with the concubine. Um, I think we, it will be better to roll like you roll. So um, what what needs to be uh, what ladder I need to hit to just throw it into the air? Uh, once you've box selected them, tap the R key to roll. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Oh, there's another crit. Okay, right now, what I will do with this critical is I think I will hit the monolith because I want to use the critical. Okay, so, uh, okay, so you can put two damage there. So one damage is for normal hit and one damage is for the critical hit. And when you, when you roll a critical hit, uh, and and hit the monolith. You will draw a card, and you will see the the critical roll. So gain two omens. Wow! Nice. Okay. Love that it. is nice. That's definitely nice. Um, one omen, the second omen. Yeah, because if I recall, sometimes they can be bad things that will happen. Only in early con. Spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> Only early con. Only yeah. early con love when he get beaten up he loves it <laughs> he loves pain uh so in most cases each and every time there are only benefits early can is something like a, a like an unpleasant uh a surprise <laughs> i think she she did a thing right right now yeah or no yeah i think just uh yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, yes 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 because with the uh, with the wolf, I killed the one, uh, the one minion, and now the cow and concubine hit the monolith, and um, you are good to manage your battlefields. Uh, what's that? Sorry. Yeah, you are good to go on the oh. other battlefields. All right. So we look who's the most offensive. So, uh, faceless ambusher attacks first. He does four damage. Let me see how I can split it. I don't think I can hit any of these guys without killing them. You need to draw tactic. Yeah, that's important. Oh right? yeah, that's right. That's the thing I kept another thing kept to forgetting. So we draw one of these cards. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And we look at the it's a blue. So blue says evolve this minion. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh I, I think the blue one is the this minion gets plus one attack for each evil counter. It depends on, yeah, because when when you roll red right now, nothing happened. But I think evolve this minion is not bad. We will see. You can evolve him. Yeah. What uh, What does evolve do? Well, uh, draw one token from the evil from the evil counters. Okay. Uh, Anyone? One just drop one one and put it on him, and flip it, and you will see uh, they are evolving. Well, what this one? It looks it looks like a tentacles. You will have a tentacles, of <laughs> course. Have the evolve card, and you will see what. Oh. Something will happen with him, okay? He will have a claws, uh, he will have a wings. This one will oh, have neat. tentacles. Neat, uh, but yet terrible. <laughs> but uh, but the thing is that uh, those guys are pretty really, I mean, flavorful. Those, those are evolving. Those are the newborns. Those are, because in the Endbringer uh, Rebirth, which is, the, which is one of the horsemen, like the Demiurge, he is trying to put the next level of humanity so the humanity yeah. needs to die and those are the newborns so this will be the second wave of of their own humanity and they are evolving so that's, yeah. that's the point of it that's the rebirth is the fourth horseman yeah and the, all the art here is this is them just as they're crawling out of the water but then they're evolving over time and this guy now has tentacles that are growing out of them yeah in addition exactly. to his arms and legs Yes. Cool. So that means that he's got a tactic that when an allied player with one or more cards in their hand, oh, an allied player with one or more cards in their hand randomly discards a card. So is that? When he's by the way, when he will attack. So right now. Yeah. So because he he evolves and then he immediately gets the tactic from the evolution. 
Yes, and the second tactic just stacks into another. And so I have two cards, so I have to randomly discard one of these. And the one that I lose is that one. That's sad. That's not one that I wanted to lose. By the way, when you check their box, uh, the text box are empty. And uh, this big token, evil token, will be smaller, so it will it oh, will so it'll the fit. Text box. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Because that basically uh, becomes way, their text. But, but you, you can have more, you know? So this creature can have a second power of uh, tentacles. And it, it is stacking. Or no, if a minion will gain a duplicate evil of counter, instead return both evil of conquerors to the evil of counter back, that means uh, the creatures can devolve. That's so handy. But if he will get second tentacle, he will devolve, like mutate into some basic stuff. <laughs> or he will lose the tentacles. <laughs> so it's something like a devolution is possible. That that's uh that brings me some hope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some good things might happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I always love I'm a huge RPG fan, role playing games like tabletop role playing games. And I always go for something that can bring me surprise uh and I am I am treating I am valuing it more better than to have things balance. I do not tell you that balancing is not uh, is not bad is bad. No, it's a great thing. But yeah. I'm always looking for something that can surprise me. And in the cooperative games it, it just uh, it, it's like it's like double time that it this needs to be there. Surprising moments. <laughs> nice. All right. So four damage we gotta deal with. Now my thought process is, and this may be a not good thought mm -hmm. process, but I always like to keep stuff up until at least I can attack with them once. Perfect, exactly. That's a good decision. So in that case, I think I'll let us take the four because we are we have a good we are a good just we can take four definitely. Yeah, we will. And then Definitely. this guy, I definitely want to preserve because he's going to boost everybody. So who do I? Uh -huh. I guess. My zombie's going to be a good one to just get rid of. So I'll boost him first and attack with him. Perfect. Uh, so he'll get plus two. So he'll be rolling four dice. Let me get some dice. Oh, damn it. I forgot to use the Royal Palace tech. Oh, yeah. It's not too... Oh, man. Oh, man. Really? Do you, do you okay. want Do you want a no, mulligan? Okay. Or... <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's. No, no, no. It's okay. Oh, and I've got, I've got a um, tactic too. I need to look at here. By the way, Rick, we can undo it because uh, because people want to know how we can beat the the scenario. So do not forget anything is a good way to win. So okay, let's let's do your stuff, and I will just add the gargoyle on our battlefield. Okay. You may still find this somewhere. Well, the, the token enterprise exhausted. Okay, so so basically nothing happened because he will not it will not attack, and the, you just need to tell me where is the gargoyle. Oh, uh, that's a good question. Did he end up in the deck here? I wonder. Let me search. <laughs> okay. uh, I see lots of vampires and wolves. Ah, there they are. Royal Guard. Okay. Okay, so I will put him here and exhaust him. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, my... Oh, I tapped my Council of Three. It was actually... Oh, yeah, it was already exhausted. So, Council of Three mm -hmm. is exhausted. It's not doing anything anyways. Stop it, TTS. And now the Vengeful Mummy is also exhausted. And now this guy's going to attack, and he's going to do two damage. And does the Mummy is going to take one of the two, and it's going to destroy him. Um, back in my graveyard. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I just give you one little? I, 
I know. I told you that you, I will not. <laughs> I will not criticize your things, but you just uh, instead of 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 giving us one damage, we we, we can manage one damage. Uh, you just get rid of a minion that have a three attack that have a four attack uh, yeah. for the future. So basically, you can uh, as an action in in future you can just put it. I know you can put it out. But you can put the second one out. I can put the second one uh, buried. Oh, you mean so? So you would say we uh, take let, the let two, we take the one. two damage. Yes, yes. yes. I think and yes. then leave him out there because we can really stoop yes. up this battlefield and exactly. mess it up. And in, in the in the next turn, we will have this guy there. So. All right. So this was him. He did his thing. This guy's already exhausted. Mm -hmm. And so now my Lord of the Dead will attack and Hey, don't forget to use tactic if 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 you want. What's I will probably tactic? I well I'll use still catch ready the main Okay, sir. Sure. For the unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Um so your zombie minions gain plus two attack. He's not a zombie, he's a lich, so he doesn't get the bonus, so he gets four dice. Good point. Oh, and I rolled one did I do any damage? I had one damage that I did with the z zombie, and I don't know if yeah, I can put it anywhere. Well, you need to put it anywhere. Yeah. You can put it on the yeah. You will put it on the faceless horror. Yes. All right. So because now... there is an easy there is easy rule. When there is a minion that can handle the damage, you need to hit it. When there is or uh, there is no minion with the uh, okay, that's a that's a good roll. Yeah, so neither of these guys can take any more damage. Oh, wait, uh, this guy can take one. And then I can do three. Did you did you draw the tactic card for the second one? I did not. OK. Mm -hmm. The tactic was a red. Nothing happened. The minion gets plus one attack for each evolve counter on it. Okay, I see. Uh, what we can do is that with the fate counter, you can negate his tactic. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, I'm thinking right now, uh, if I will... Okay, uh, Rick, just reroll, please, the, the two blanks. I will get you reroll two blanks. Oh, you can spend your omens on me? Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, That's yes, nice. You can. Because omens are something that you can use also on your opponent. There's two oh, more. That's uh, I like this. I'll spend an omen just yeah, to get go one for it. more. <laughs> Let's be greedy. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Let's hit him hard. Yes! yes! Thank yes, you. Man, that's good. That's so great. we'll get rid of Mr. Evolve minion. I Amazing. Think. And Amazing. does this go back in the bag and get shuffled back yes. in the bag? Yes, okay. yes, 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 always. All right, and this guy is out of play. Goodbye. Yeah. Early con man, you are going down. <laughs> so far, so good. And now hit him is monolith with everything you got. So one, two, three, four, five damage to monolith. Yeah, looking great. All right. Yeah, that monolith's going to go down fairly fast if we can keep my zombie attack going. Re Should have just taken him from... Ooh, let's see if I can lock this bag to the table. Oh, you heal us! You healed us. Or... Uh, I'm restoring of... defense. Oh, yes! You... Okay, okay. Whenever nice. a minion is destroyed, restore... Yeah, so we got one defense <gasps> okay, back. Okay, so... Okay, so look. Okay, so if you okay, so now the vengeful mummy is good to let him kill. <laughs> because like, he will yeah, because he'll give us another. And he, so I will give him another two because he he, he save our uh, one essence and he give us one essence. So we we'll take. Okay, okay, okay. So that's nice. I forgot. I that was my uh, whole yeah, reason for putting that there. Can I have. Yeah, early can I have bad news for you. You did nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that battlefield's done. Now we move on to yeah. this battlefield. And yeah. let's see, we got three and one. So this guy is going to be first attack. And yeah, and I will, I, will, I, will, I will draw just a second. I will draw a tactic for him. It's green, green one. 
green. Evolve this minion and each enemy minion with the same name as it. So uh, is that the exact name? Face I don't know. I will, I, will, I will use my fate counter because why? Why not? And I will just yep. uh, negate it. Sorry, okay. dude. Nope. All right. So then we just have to deal with the four damage. Unicorn can only take one more. We can take. We can take. No, no, no. We, 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 are, we, have no uh, we have no other chance. We, we love this unicorn. Yes. Four attack. It's four attack. Four attack. And you you and he will hit uh, hit him twice. twice. Yep. So he has got an attack of four. He's gonna go ahead and do his first attack. Yeah. Don't forget to use tactic. Oh nice. So I wish this guy just had one health left, but he doesn't. Is it better for us to take out the faceless ambusher or to do a crit on the monolith and maybe get some goodies? Yeah. I think, oh, I almost feel like since we know that there's going to be more minions playing the battlefield, I almost feel like we should take this guy out because he's pretty strong. If it was this guy, I wouldn't care so much, but this guy does four mm -hmm. damage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pre-evolving. Pre so we'll take him out with the crit. And unfortunately, we don't get the bonus because my, my little, uh, whatchamacallit, my fortification, my coven isn't in there. And then I've got three more damage to assign. This guy's going to take one, and then the rest is going to go on to the monolith. So one, two, and three. Do you know that, that Scottish people has a unicorn in their air? So therefore, basically you are playing a sorcerer from Scotland, right? <laughs> a wood, a wood of Cree is a, is, a, is a forest in the Scotland. And uh, Scotland has a unicorn in its symbol. That's only reason why I put unicorn into the into the sorcerer. I'm not a fan of unicorns. I really hate them. But when I saw <laughs> this black unicorn with his red eyes, okay, very <laughs> definitely. You, you also have a white unicorn, okay? That's okay. But uh, the reason why there are unicorns in the sorcerer, even I hate unicorns, <laughs> uh, uh, due to the Scots, I, I really respect their leg legacy. And uh, when you check the name in indisputable Scottish people on their own uh, treat themselves as an undis undisputed uh, folk undisputed people so so it's a, it's a great uh, it's a great how to say uh, great uh, respect to the to the Scottish people yeah. as, as, as I did with many other uh, many other cultures so oh, okay that's that's some um, that's some um, Easter eggs behind the, <laughs> I behind love the, that yeah 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 all right. Uh, all right. So this guy's going to attack, but he's also going to get a tactic. Mm -hmm. And red, red is he gets nothing. plus one attack. So nothing. Yay! I love that. And then he is going to do two damage. Um, we are going to take the two we damage. We can sustain so. it. Yes. And then we're going to um... tactic. I guess I would have exhausted skill card trades. Okay, so I would have actually tapped this yeah, when he's yeah, attacking. Yeah. And yeah. now he's going to attack again, but any one hits are the same as blank. So we'll see what we can do here. Oh, wow. I was saving this. <laughs> I guess I'll go ahead and use it okay. to reroll the. Reroll this. No, 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 Oh, okay, any or all. Okay, okay, any or all. Okay, no, yeah. uh, it's it's a real old dice, I think. Oh my god, sorry, I I didn't play it a long time. It's any, any or all. I think it's any. Or if it, well, maybe I need to check the original rulebook oh, here. Jesus, sorry, I really That's forgot. That's all right. <laughs> I'm working on three other projects in the meantime, so. Um, I think it's, I think it's all. And if it's all, we probably don't want to re-roll it. Yeah. Probably just use an omen or a yeah. yeah, an omen. Ah, uh, here we go. Fate counter. Every day. Yeah, it's every day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we I'm will remembering not... it, man. It's my design. <laughs> we will it's not every, use every day. That. Every day. 
because I like the two hit. I'll okay. spend one omen just to see if I can get at least. Uh, Rick, 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 Rick uh, can I can I give you an advice? The last yeah, one. sure. I, I, I really uh, do not push it hard. Leave an omen. You are uh, people are complaining that they do not have omens to get destroy the conditions. Be prepared; you will feel better in your turn to, to have <laughs> additional to omen it. and so on. So do not do it. All right, so crit. Well, now this one, I'm almost mm -hmm. thinking maybe we do put the crit on the monolith and just give the monolith yeah, yeah, three yeah. hits. Yeah, just for the for, just for the surprise moment. Yeah, do it. One, two, three hits on the monolith and a surprise. We draw, I draw three cards. That's amazing. Oh man. <laughs> Whoa. That is exactly what I needed. Yo. Because I was that's insane, alive. man. That's like. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. All right. So that is all the stuff. All the yeah. battles are resolved. And, and, so. possible, and, and, and you, you want to spend an omen, and the possibility to get a double or, or a critical was very low, you know? So you will just lose one omen, and it's, it yeah, was not true. so necessary, and so on. Those are the decisions that will just uh, are, are very crucial. What we will do right now is to make uh, is to progress the scenario. So oh, yeah. first one, no effect. <laughs> okay. As I, as I said, do not uh, do not be afraid of using scenarios. Those are you you can track the uh, you can track the rounds and so on and. Uh, they are cool. I think it's a, it's a cool thing to have a scenario there. Uh, yeah. The game will be okay. Will be harder, uh, but not as much. We will see. Uh, just add some extra flavor to the game. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, he's leading the invasion and so on. And in, in some ways too, like if you don't if you don't want a game to drag on, this is going to put you in a situation where okay, you got six rounds with this one to complete the game. If you yes. don't, it's game over. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 exactly. All right, so we're readying all the stuff. Mm -hmm. um... Okay, I am ready. All right, uh, and I then will... we okay, gain so an omen. I... We'll gain an omen. Action tracker back up. We just get a flat four. We don't get a get to roll the die in. And uh, well, you are the f you are the first player, uh, so you can roll the die if you want. Oh, I thought it said in the rule book with uh, energy, you strictly oh, got yeah. four okay. no matter what. Okay, I see. Yeah. And does first okay, player then. go to me on the next turn, or does it stay with you for the whole game? No, no, no you are the first player. Okay. All right. So I think that's everything. Uh. New first player gains the fate counter. All exhaust readied. Oh, I didn't take that, an omen. That, that. Take oh, I can move my avatar if I want. Which? Uh, okay, no, no. I think uh, early can moves first. So oh, we yes. Will see. So I got to roll a die here. Roll the eight sided yeah. die. It's, it, that I thought was kind of cool because otherwise, this eight sided die doesn't have any purpose in Endbringer. But because of this, it still does. Uh, seven. So does he stay uh, by the in way, this? Uh, the the eight side die is used in the scenario uh, of the is preparing dark ritual. You are rolling these dice, and you will see if if it if the lightning strikes somebody. Okay, the, I, I will definitely oh. put my avatar on the middle field to to bring you some support. But no, I will no 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 leave your avatar there because you have a lich lord there. I will not yeah. just. Uh, I will not put your capacity on this battlefield because you will just you will just uh, spread it with the zombies. That's yeah, the best between the zombies and my. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, my... so I put Avatar on the last battlefield. All right. Or or maybe I can just... leave him. I don't know. I don't know what is, what's your call. Um. I no, think... I will support you. No, no, I will support you. The third one, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah because this one's doing you pretty will good. Focus on the middle one. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep. Okay. All right. And what's this guy doing? Play a game and the whole creature. Okay. So there's a couple ways I could go about this. 
She's she or he can absorb more hits. All right. I think what I'm just going to do then for starters, the only reason I almost thought about moving Sigismund is to get another one of these covens out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can do this. Definitely. But right now, I think I'm just going to stick with this battlefield because the other ones. Uh, don't I mean, forget, when nice. you are reinforcing, when you, are do, when you will spend a reinforced action, you can reinforce the minion and then also your avatar. So it's uh, you can you can you oh, can yeah, bring back later yeah 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 true. don't forget um, this I, I don't I, I'm not telling you that this is the right thing to do but th the options is there yeah I'm I'm going to take an action I'm actually going to tap him in this battlefield and I'm going to bring forth two coven no newborns into play as oh, some cannon okay, fodder but those, those yeah I know but those are not those mm. did you would you say Instead, I think maybe... that this, this battlefield will be better to just for the zombies. Okay, so we'll we'll just, just spam it up with the zombies. We'll ra oh, you know what uh, we forgot to do? We forgot to spawn more more minions on his side. Of course, yes, yes. So I will spawn two uh, two minions on my battlefield. Okay, so flip it and flip it. And two here. Oh, okay, I I, <laughs> I received the five five guy. Okay, <laughs> whatever. All right. So instead of using Sigismund, I'm going to bring a zombie out, and then yeah, I'm going yeah. to tap my necromancer card to do that to weaken a non-legend minion twice. Mm -hmm. Uh, one, two. This guy. Yeah. Well. Weaken this middle guy twice. Mm -hmm. And that's that. And then we'll go to Ehrlich. Ehrlich says... By the way, you can always, you can also just reinforce uh, Sigismund and use his action on as the last of your actions. I mean, you will reinforce him to the last battlefield and then you will spawn things. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you will need, you will just, and you will get, uh, and you will be rid of energy or something. You can always do that. It's 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 always not good to not use any of your skill cards. Uh, you know what? You know, that's that's yeah. I'm sorry. That's a good point too, because really, where I want to spawn his newborns the most is where I put the breeding chamber, so that oh, not breeding chamber, sorry, the uh, underground haven, because then those guys yeah. get plus one attack each. Exactly. So, so you can do it on the on the battlefield on the right. Yeah. All right. Later on. Later on, it's okay. All right. So I did the zombie. Uh, we um, Ehrlich Khan. He's got boiling blood. The executioner stops suddenly and stares at you from across the battlefield. His eyes glow bright red, then burst into flames. And he is full of hate. He's going to generate two hate counters. He's up to three on his card now. Okay. He's getting pretty mad. Don't make him angry. You won't like him when he's angry. Yeah, and right now when you check the card, the critical is that generate two hate counters. So, yeah. When you, when you, when you draw it, there's a critical, so... Sometimes sometimes bad things can happen with Ehrlich. <laughs> but with Ehrlich, yes. Only with Ehrlich. All right. Main idea, main idea to to be rewarded for the critical is to be rewarded, of course. Yes. Uh so, but then I felt, ah, uh, I will bring to the player something that will just be really nasty surprise, and you will be like, what? I get punished <laughs> for the critical? Yes, it's early town, and only him can do this. But yeah, he has some pretty cool things like draw three cards, so you are always tempted. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a minor thing. A risk you, reward uh, thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I, and I like it too. Knowing now, knowing that Ehrlich Khan's the only one that has that, it's yeah. like okay, that adds more flavor to him that yeah, he's course, the only yes. one that has that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you remember the scene from the Star Wars when the uh, when the guy? Yeah, I would have to say the last last bad guy there. Uh, and then, the Emperor. And then driver. Uh, sorry, the emperor. No, no, the emperor, the the, the young guy. Uh, 
Adam Draw Adam Driver, I think it was the as mm. the actor. Kylo Ren. Uh Kylo Ren. When Kylo Ren Kylo yes. Ren was uh, was hit by the sword, he he took his hand and he beat this car. Like to be more angry. <laughs> so that's the early calm. Constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my turn is all wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. So I am doing my stuff. Uh, okay, sorry, I, I forget to add four energy. And what I can do right now? Hmm. Okay, I can definitely try try to do this thing. I will use one energy. I will spend one action, and I will play this card. Call of the Alpha. I think I, I do not have any wolves. So shuffle spirit cards from your graveyard into your grimoire and search the top six cards. Suffer there for a number of spirit was reveal them and put them into your hand. So top six cards. Uh, so I will put them here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I flip those cards and we will see. Okay, perfect. I have one wolf. And the other cards I will I will flip back. I will flip back and put them into the deck. There and the reshuffle it. Perfect. Okay, so that was my turn. Uh, okay, Seven. I yeah I I I I, I shuffled the the sorcery. Uh, okay, I will put okay. it out. Search, and I will put out the call of the alpha, and I will put it flipped into my graveyard, and that's it. You will then put them into your hand. Yeah, that's it. And I and I get an omen token. And I will go with the Erlich card. So what's Erlich have for us? Temple mm. in pain. Ongoing. So yeah, it's condition. Uh, whenever an enemy minion attacks, remove hate counter from Erlich hand to give Oof. the minion plus two attack to this attack. Gross. Okay, so I will I will definitely uh, put it here. Uh, I, I yeah I will put it here. But, uh, I will get rid of it, of course, because I yeah. will be the first player to attack. <laughs> yeah, because that's okay. Seems pretty so leave, terrible. Leave, leave, yeah, leave this up to me. And I, you know, right now I'm pretty comfortable with it because I leave two omen tokens from the last turn. So this is also yeah. a tactic. Do not go full house with your omens, and so just be patient. Leave some of them to the to the other turn. Manage your resources. To be always prepared for some things. There can be cards that ask me to to add a hate counter or spend an omen, and so on and so on and so on. So always manage your resources in the end bringer. It's pretty crucial. Uh, that's the way how you can basically win the game, of course. Okay, yeah. well, you are good to go. Especially in this one because the omens are so critical for getting rid of those nasty conditions exactly. that he puts out. Exactly. Uh, when exactly. when when I played last. Uh, mm -hmm. with with my friend, we had I think like three conditions out at one time, and it was just mm -hmm. terrible. Just not luck of the draw, I guess you'd say. Uh, okay. Got some great comments, by the way. Um, your friend said Demiurge is totally nuts. Great design, and um, also loves totally the presentation not. we've got. Yeah, totally, totally not nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, And our last turn, he said, was an explosive turn, which it was. We had a great. Uh, yeah, we have a great turn. turn. Yeah, we have a really great turn. Yeah. All right. Uh, so for me, I think that are we thinking get some more undead out on the board? Get okay. another zombie in here. Uh, oops. Uh, let's look for the zombie in the graveyard. There he is. He's back. Yeah, I love those movies. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I forgot to move my action tracker. Nothing else happens. Just this little old zombie coming back from the dead. 
And so Ehrlich... Uh, it's the flame storm. We got to randomly discard a card or generate a hate counter because I've got a handful of four cards. Yeah. Let's see. He's at he's at three. Do I want to push him towards blowing up? No, 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 no. no just okay. no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we no, will not. We do are that not then. right now. We are not in the shape to have five damage. Uh, oh, we, st- have. We, we actually we have because I have a royal guard. Okay, oh, true. so we definitely we, we definitely trigger him. Or we will try our best to trigger him during uh during uh, the action phase. Because okay. I will just kill the Royal Guard, right? Yeah. Or or maybe not, it's too well, bad. We yeah. will see. Rick, Rick, we will see. Do you th- will I, see. I'm thinking maybe go ahead and hmm. No, Rick, uh, leave leave your card on your hand. Okay. Because leave your card on your hand, you will you will just uh, save an action for it. And right now we we are prepared to to receive five damage global. Okay. We are pretty in good shape. That's overall pretty nice because I do have some nice cards in my hand from yeah. uh, from like, uh, yeah, yeah, the, Well, basically the card is a card. Of, I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the biggest resources. I uh, for me the cards come on my uh, the, the opportunity or the, uh, not the opportunities but the the options you have. Are your cards basically? So for mm-hmm. me, it's the most rare rare resource in the game. Yeah, so unless you get unless, for... unless you get extremely lucky, like I did, and got to draw three cards. <laughs> oh yeah, draw three cards is amazing. Uh, so yeah, now it's the good point to, to tell about the the patch, the upcoming patch, because one of the one of the things that will be patched uh, patch, and of course you will have it in your final physical copy uh, of Sorcerer. Is uh, that uh, there will be these uh, these basic monoliths that you have right now? There are only three of them, but there will be nine of them. So you will you will play only with the monoliths without uh, without any effect. And in addition, each of those monoliths will give you a beneficial effect. So always go for the reward. When you will hit the, mon- the monolith, when you will destroy it, you will always go with a beneficial effect. And that's the one thing that we will introduce uh, an option how to lower the difficulty of the game or how to set it in in, in less frustrating way. Okay, gotcha. we can continue. Yeah. That was that was one important thing that we yeah. will hit the next patch, and hopefully also uh, also the the physical copy. I like it. Yeah, I like options. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, not not always. I'm. <laughs> As I said, it's not it's un, it's not important to win, but to lose. Yeah, yeah, to have that struggle and to be able to come away from that game and be like, okay, what could have I done better? Well, where could yes. have I optimized more? Yes. Yeah. By the way, yesterday, I, yesterday, me and my friend play one game. Uh, I think I can't tell them the name, but, but okay, 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 screw it. We played the die. Uh, we played the dice uh, uh, dice version of Pandemic. Uh huh. And it's too easy. I mean, there are two options when we take the scientists and the medic, and we we'll, and we didn't have any struggle. And the main struggle was if I want to play it again because I, I just easily win the first time, and I'm not attracted to play again. But we play again, and we find out how to get it to really worse, and we finally we lose, and then we will just happy that okay, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I want to say, I do not love games that I can easily win in first try. Yeah, yeah. I think you. I, I know we talked about playing Dice Run Adventures before. I think you might like that game because there's a lot of people who complain that it's too hard. Perfect. <laughs> so <That's for> me. <laughs> that might be me. right if, up your alley. <laughs> uh, Rick, Rick, if anybody will tell you that somebody is playing some card game or something that it's pretty, really, really not beatable or hard, just drop me a link immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a game that Peter wants to play right there. Yeah, exactly. I'm a huge Dark Souls fan, so yeah. speaking of itself. All right, where were we? I Oh, I think it was just... Did we just resolve my turn? Yes, I'm going. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, it's easily trackable just looking at your action tracker. So I am I am just... Oh, yeah, true. Uh, ...spend an action, and I will use my Ragnar ability. 
and I will I will take some wolves. Oh, this look at the sort of humor for spirit wolves. So I will do this. I will definitely do this. Oh, search. Come on, I need some wolves. Yeah, perfect. I have a wolf here. I will play it here for two energy. And I will flip him. And we have additional wolves here. Nice. Okay. Wolves, gargles, vampires. Mm -hmm. Oh my. <laughs> um yeah, that's it. And wolves do not have an omen token on them. Uh okay. So that's it. What's what's what Erling Khan will do? Frightful presence. The executioner emits a defining blow as he swings his enormous two-handed axe in giant arcs, cleaving everything in its path. Lose an omen or generate a hate counter. If we generate a hate, we clear his hate. That's in some way it's bad that we take the five damage, but it's also in some ways good because it gives us a little bit more time on that condition because he okay, won't have any hate counters to fuel these guys. Oh, uh, the condition will be destroyed. This condition will not happen. Uh, oh yeah, am, because you you uh, go first, so you can clear it before it exactly, ever takes effect. Okay. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Uh, when you have a conditions, be sure that you will just put a minions on the left side, so you will put it out before anything happens. Um, okay. um, uh, uh, let's let's spread some hate or not. <laughs> yeah, let's press on it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five hate. Since I did it, I will put two damage on the spirit wolves, two damage on the royal guard because I want to, I want to attack with them. So four damage, and the fifth damage will go to our to our oh. defense. So yeah, that's easy. That's Excellent. Ready? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. I to think we we did we did not drew the card. We did not drew the card that, when he is counting the hate counters, and there are only three cards remaining in his pile. So therefore, I just immediately uh, took the five damage. Gotcha. So when we will draw this card, he will have just zero hate. Yeah, he's he's calm right now. <laughs> He took a Xanax and he's uh, he's yeah, a little bit more yeah, chill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So I've been like beefing up this battlefield with all my undead. I think I need to yeah, give yes. my unicorn some help over here. So you will. I'm... You will get just a second. Give me a second. Okay. Uh, we have. A, I have four actions left. I am two energy. One energy. Uh, so one. It's one, two, three, four. I will be on five. Can I help you with a five? I can put some wolves. Okay, I will definitely put at least wolves there. Oh, that's right, because you're you're in that battlefield right now. And and I will yeah, I can I can play wolves anywhere. Oh sorry, sorry for that. I put the wolves here. Sorry for that. I use his action. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they can't go in that other battlefield. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Uh, I will support you in additional wolves there. Uh, so we will have the two walls there, or, okay, I will tell you my plan. Oh, we will have the spirit walls there. I will kill them after they attack, and I will put additional spirit walls there. And nice. in the moment, in the moment where the spirit walls come into play, they will, they will, will attack, no, they can be exhausted, I think, exhausted. Uh, so at least when the spirit walls will attack, Ma, in that in in that time, the royal guard will be already dead. So I will manage that I will kill the royal guard, so he can play the royal guard on those on the last battle. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, uh, I will I will soak a load of damage there, but only soaking because I will put two minions in exhausted shape. So, so I will only attack with the spirit wolves. Okay, with the one spirit wolves, yeah, but I will soak a load of damage there. 
Okay. So do you okay, when you will when you can put one big packet there or even any actor? Or don't forget that you can use the Sigismund to put uh, the the minions there, the the vampires. Yeah, that's that's actually what I was going to ask you about. So I could leave Sigismund in this battlefield where he's at in the middle. I could yeah. take an action to spawn some of my coven newborns, and mm -hmm. the benefit to that too is that they'll be cannon fodder, and the hunting ground will and make it us. so when they die, we'll get yeah, healed. yeah. It's, okay. It's, so if there is any opportunity for you to, to just play one minion on the third battlefield, it will be good, but it's not crucial. Because I can sustain damage there, uh, so we will, we will not be as offensive on the third one. And but I we can will sustain the damage there. I can definitely help with that effort too, because I've got a minion in my hand that has a essence of four. Uh -huh. That that's pretty cheap to get out, and I can get Go that. Yeah. So, um, is he a zombie? No, it is. Okay. I'll just. Perfect. I guess I'll just go ahead and. There's no harm here. I've got this oh, okay. underworld guide. Yeah. Then the cat. And I don't mind him going into my graveyard because he's got the buried effect, mm -hmm. and I can oh, play perfect. him back out. Yeah, that's the good deal, I, and he give you an omen token. Yep. Uh, for now, though, let's yeah, let's go ahead and play the cat. Um, I'm gonna go down to one, and he's gonna go out in this graveyard or this uh, battlefield here. Yeah. And uh, does he give me? He does, doesn't he? Yes, he gives me an omen. Hooray! Hooray! Of course. Even when you are playing him as a buried, each and every time you will play a card, even when you play a card via some card. Yeah, it will always give you a omen. There is nothing like that. Nothing will happen on on a, on a piece of a card. So definitely, always do not forget to add omen. Yeah, it's super nice knowing too that I can bring stuff back from the dead and still get omens from it when they if they've got. Yes, them on of card. course. That's, yes, of course. All right, Ehrlich, what you got for me? Uh, we're going to receive two direct damage. It says uh, fire blast. The executioner shifts his great axe to one hand. His other hand starts to burn as he points at you. You feel the heat of an intense furnace as flames lash out towards you. Nice. Thank you very much. Two damage. That's, that's a new one. So two direct damage. Bink, bink. Mm -hmm. And that's it for me. Okay. Uh... Uh, my, I, I will be quick, so I will just add two energy, and that's 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 that's, that's everything I got. Just a second. play a vampire from your hand. Play a non-legend minion from a graveyard. Oh, how can I manage to get this? Uh, okay, never mind. I will draw Ehrlich Khan's card. Uh, Earthshaker. Ehrlich Khan slams the ground with his giant axe, sending out a shockwave. It tosses your minions about like toys. Exhaust an allied minion if you can't generate a hate counter. Exhaust an ally. We could uh, we could exhaust my council of three. Well, I guess she does get the bonus now, so that's kind of nice to leave her. You can exhaust the cat. Yeah, because he's just going to be a meat shield for us. Uh, yeah. Oops. Uh, okay. Thanks. That's perfect. Yeah, and you can go. All right. Um, next uh, action. I'm going to exhaust uh, my skill card for Sigismund. And I'm mm -hmm. finally going to get some newborns out. I'm going to have some vampire babies running around in this battlefield. Let me move this. Oh, some more cannon fodder for here. And then this battlefield's full. But that's okay, because it won't be for long. Mm. Ah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because there's only one card left in the deck, I guess. Uh, the Executioner roars as he charges towards you. We receive damage equal to the number of hate counters. Guess what? Huh. That's a big <laughs> zero. <laughs> Okay, so now there is additional example 
because I know what to expect from him. What I what I wrote on our Facebook page, guys, you need you, you just get to know what you are standing against. So I know that he has this effect in his deck. Rick, you can also count when you will play again. You know that this card is there. Yeah. Um. So you can easily just manage how you will play against him. That that felt incredibly good. It's, when you've yeah. got a game that is hard like that and is punishing, it feels so good when you have something that like really hurts or screws over the boss. <laughs> yeah. But yes, of course, because you know how you, you can deal with him. Yeah, like for instance, in Dark Souls, the game will be easier when you know his moves. When you do not know the boss moves in the Dark Souls, you will die definitely. You will not handle it. You need to try it several times to beat him. Uh, the same goes here. Uh, you need to know exactly what you can count with. As I say, Rick just spread his hate because this card was not drawn and it will come. And we were prepared for this. And yeah, we so received we... zero instead, instead of, four. of four. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's huge. Yeah. Especially when you... 60 seems like a lot you, of health, but... Yeah, I am, I am just here to show you the game is beatable. Uh, even with... And it's, we do not have just crazy luck because our roles were not all over the place. Uh, so uh, this is pretty uh, average gameplay that we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is uh, what what is, what is giving our a huge advantage is that I know his deck. Yeah, the, and just giving us a huge advantage. And I love both of our sorcerers because I've got the yeah. ability to raise the dead. You've got the ability to summon spirit wolves all over the place. So we're able yeah, to really uh, put a lot of. A lot of stuff out on of the battlefield. Of course, but, but when, when I check any of the sorcerers, can you imagine when you will have a Virgilio so you can just direct damage to the minions and kill mm -hmm. them straight? Or, or or when you can have a Missilda with just the close some of them and so on and so on. Everyone has its own weapons that you can oh, easily yeah. use. Missilda would be uh, great. Yeah, even even the even the arthropods, he he, he just cancels his actions. <laughs> Yeah. So I was thinking Tatsu that, would be fun too because she can go Tetsu, and battle Tetsu on the battlefield. Is, that's that's is a that's is a powerhouse. Yeah. That's uh, I think uh, one of the lead testers sent me a few days ago that uh, he win the game in turn two. With Tatsu. Yeah, she she's fierce. If you yeah. invest in her and her thing where you're just buffing her and then she just slams the battlefields when she attacks. And I really, I really like her lore too. I, I have a, I have a real love for Japanese culture, so I thought it was cool to Me have too. a Japanese source. Okay, so I was just thinking if I will tell you the news or I will do not tell you the news, but I will tell you if you are a huge fan of Japanese culture, uh, there is a plan in future that there will be a standalone uh, box set, but it's only a plan. Okay, uh, Asia. Nice. I mean, everything will be only Asian. That's uh, cool. And that's th 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 is a preview for it. That's very cool. That's exciting. Uh, th so that's the plans. It's not official. It's just we are just it's open right now. Just a, um, yeah, just a possibility. Yeah. Well, I bet the possibility is more than a reality because we have already an asset for it. <laughs> but okay, uh, you definitely can 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 expect things. All right. Uh, yeah, I think it's on you. Really? Yeah. Because uh, I was first player. I'm on my oh, four yeah, spot. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I am. Uh, um, what I will do? What I want? What I will do? I have three actions remaining. So possibly I can be on the path, and I need to draw cards. Sorry, but I need. Do I need? Do I need to? What's this? If you can count the damage, deal this way. Anyway, to heal up or dead match damage from another minion in the same battlefield. Damn it. I will draw cards, definitely. 
So two. Ah, now we're talking. Perfect. That was a good decision. I mean, good one. Uh, to draw oh, two cards. Good. It good. is a game changing. Uh, yes, I have. Um, <clears throat> okay, so early can reshuffle and draw a card. Show us. Tempered in pain. <laughs> Whenever an enemy minion attacks, remove hate counter from early. Well, that's that's great right now <laughs> for the for the moment. By the way, by the way, he had. Oh my god, he has a. Don't he have this condition already on the table? He that's has. what I thought. Yeah. So okay, maybe we, so, maybe okay, we I'm drawing another one. In. I'm drawing yeah. another one. Okay. What a coincidence, by the way, but perfect yeah. coincidence. Uh, execution of intense hatred of this world seems contagious, filling his troops with rage and loathing. Oh, Whenever an allied million exhausted generate the hate run, hey, welcome, two conditions. Okay, that's, that's, that's perfect because somebody somebody wrote somebody wrote down that when the two com the combination of two conditions is just game stopper. Like yeah. we will we, we will be dead. No, we will not. I will manage it to put it out. Uh and and uh, what helped me that I left two omen tokens from last turn. Yes. And this really helped me a lot right now. And so I've I will got... just get rid of those two. And because you talked me into saving my omens, I've got enough to get rid of one at some point too, if yes. needed. Yes, yes. Okay, so we are good to go. All right. Uh, what do I want to do? So there's a couple of options. One is I could take Sigismon and reinforce over to the same battlefield as you're in, and I could drop one of my covens. No, you can't because... See, someone is already exhausted. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so that's so, not a plan. Um, I think what I'll do then. Do I have anything else that's got the buried subtext that I can play from my graveyard? That, not oh, that the, by the way, the breeding chamber is pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, that's one of the fortifications. Yeah, that's why I was. That's I mean, all, exactly all the of, one. All of, I mean, all of those fortifications are pretty. Good. Yeah. <laughs> The, the struggle is, like, where do you put... Especially in the original game, when a battlefield can just be basically, okay, there's nothing going on there, and now this coven does nothing for me because there's nothing to do. But in this game, yeah, yeah, the yeah, battles yeah. still go on, so it still has value where it's at. Oh, yes, that's a good point. This is yeah. a really good point. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's, he's pretty good. All pretty right, good. so... Let's see, I can't put any more guys into this battlefield. And if I did put one of these guys, um, this is Coven Fortification gets him plus two. So I want to play him where I can get that bonus. Mm -hmm. Dragon Knight gains power for each of my Coven Newborn tokens. So I don't really want to play him out now because I can't play him in that battlefield. So I think mm -hmm. what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a, an action to channel and start getting my energy back up. Mm hmm. And oh, yeah, and then I need to do the Erlik Khan thing. Hopefully, not another condition. Uh, no, it's a sorcery. So the executioner points his axe into the air, and the sky turns red. Seconds later, flaming meteors smash down all around you. Choose yeah. one <clears throat> randomly discard a card or generate a hate counter. Uh, the problem is generate, generate a hate counter. All right, yeah, well, because uh, we are pretty good because you are. <laughs> You are a great healer. <laughs> well, I was just looking, though. Whenever an enemy may remove a hate counter, the only thing is we're giving him more fuel to be able to use the tempered in pain if I give him the hate count. But you're right. Do you, I gotta... know, what was, do you know what was really clever? That you put the, uh, the the healing covenant on the middle ground. So there constantly there will be death. Constantly. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's, he's always on the on the... So if you have some effect like this one, always go for the middle field because true. Like that. That's that's I didn't even think about that when doing that, but yeah, that was, yes, that I was know. A good I, move. I, it comes into my mind right now, right? So yeah. So you're cool generating a hate counter for him? If so, we'll go ahead and I'm cool, yeah. yeah. It's it's all right. all, one, one hate counter is really a smaller uh smaller the kickback or payback than the than the card. Card is card is a really huge resource. If I could choose, 
that would be great because then I've got a card in here that's got the buried effect, and I'd love to just get that one out. But it's a one in well, three sorry. chance that I. So, I... so yeah, yeah, that was that, that's exactly why it's randomized. <laughs> <laughs> but man, golly gee, uh, I mean, I could lose one of my cool Sigismund cards, but I could possibly put this one in, in the graveyard. Oh, you, no. you want to risk it? You want to risk it? Okay, I got it. I, got I don't know. It. I don't know. You're, no, you're, you know what? Rick, it's, it's your call. It's your call, man. It's your call. I'm risk gonna it. I'm... if you want if you if you want to bring some intense to the stuff, risk it. I'm gonna let him sit. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, give him the hate, but just for funsies. Okay. Let's see what okay. would have happened. Sometimes I like to see. Yeah, if I, I had chance to. No, no, go for it. Yeah, I know. What have I gotten the one? I would have gotten the one I wanted to get in this card. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm all I'm all done. Okay, so uh have two last actions. So I will definitely add uh two two, two energy. And that's it. Um draw a card. Flip. Yes, burning ground. The third condition. Uh, whenever you play an allied minion, deal one damage to it. Wow! I love it. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's too <laughs> much. He's really getting mad. Okay, but okay, but right now it's okay. The burning ground is not burning us. Uh, you can you can destroy it like on one of your battles. Uh, yeah. So I will not take care of the burning ground. What is what is really right now a really bad thing? Is uh, definitely fueled by hatred. This is the worst kind of mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Like like when when one of your will be exhausted, you generate a hate counter, and right now and and right after he will he will use this hate counter for plus two effect. <laughs> Those two conditions. But probably I will not. Oh, I will handle this perfect. Exact. I will get exact number of omens, my friend. Okay. <laughs> uh, feel free to go. All right. Uh, <laughs> last action. I think I'm just going to prepare again for next turn and just grab some more energy, just so I can yeah. do a lot next time around. Last action, hero. Especially since yeah. he's. I mean, what really made the choice for me was that burning ground. Like, I don't feel like putting something out and having them get burned because we'll get rid of that. No, yeah, next, it's, next it's, turn. it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Two energy, two energy. There's no place for discussion. Yeah. Uh, of course. Oh. Of course. When I when I have something like a three cards in hand, I always going for the cards, not for the energy. But when I have some like 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 like, like many choices, I go always go for the energy. Obviously. Oh, but you know what though. I mean, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm sticking with it. Um, all right, thirst for destruction. Khan's forces surge forward, gleeful in the carnage they have wrought. Remove all hate counters from Erlik Khan. Heal each monolith, an enemy minion, by an amount of damage equal to the number of hate counters removed this way. Oof. Well, at least it's just one. Thank <laughs> God for that. Jesus. Okay. So that gets removed. So this... This guy's got one gets removed. Oh man, this can be really horrible. Yes, it could I mean, have brought only, these guys all up to full health. By the way, uh, only on his, uh, on only has those two battlefields. But, but how? No, 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 no. From there, not from there. He, uh, this guy oh, has a cross source. Shoot, I don't remember what we had on the. Did we have any damage on these guys? I don't uh, think we. No, no, did. no. I think we had on the faces horror. I think. We'll go with that because there's got because yeah. I know that there I removed two from over oh, yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, can you imagine a a, a situation when he when he will have a four hate counters? Uh, I think I, I might mean, have run yeah. into that two or three. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he will just heal the monolith, and that's the pain. But okay, it's not the case. So that's exactly yeah. what we, uh, what I told you before. If you have a three or four hate counters, just get rid of it. Push them over the edge. Really, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so that is it for me. It's your last action. Yeah. Okay. So I will play. Uh, Uh, 
I will play a night will horror. And I will generate one uh, omen, or two omens, one for, for, from him and one from the concubine. Okay. And uh, I will generate one blood. And I will generate, I will not generate two additional blood because my because he's not here. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, oh, I'll tap your blood lord card, but you can't use it. Okay. Oh, but okay, we will survive. We can, we can then tell that okay, we 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 win the veteran mode even with the with the with the failures. So easy. Um. And and that's it. Happens. Uh, whenever an enemy minion become exhausted, get one. But okay, okay, I will get blood. I will get enough blood. So I will. I, I am right now. I am with the six omen tokens, which is good enough to get rid of the conditions. Nice. And if you can manage to get rid of the last condition, it will be okay. Yep. Okay. Whenever you play an allied minion, the one damage to it, but only when he is, and you does not, and you doesn't play anyone. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you doesn't. And I am drawing. I am drawing. Uh, Early comes action. He, he, this is his last action. Mm. Uh, by the way, we did not adjust the scenario, or did we? This is the second turn. Uh, this second I think turn. this is. I think this is only the second turn. I was thinking about that earlier too. But yeah, this Exhaust, is our second. Exhausted. Our second battle coming up. Yeah, I, I'm speaking too much, so it's it's slower. Uh, exhaust <laughs> an allied minion if you can't generate a hate counter. Oh, I. Uh, yeah, we need to exhaust one minion. Uh, we can exhaust one of these little these little oh, guys yeah. here. Exactly. Perfect. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, we can start to, to we can start a battle. All right. Uh, so... so I will start a battle with uh, I will start a battle with the Royal Guard. Good deal. Because he will die soon. Uh, so I am rolling two dies. Do I? He's five five. So he will attack first. So five 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 five. No, I'm not attacking with the royal guard. Or or did I? Okay, I will attack with the royal guard. So with two dice. Oh uh. man. That's bad. Okay, I will definitely uh, use uh, six omens. Oh yeah, for the tactic, get rid of. Yeah, but that... just give me a second because one of them will happen whenever an allied minion is hosted. Yeah, that one. He generates one token. So he does get a and hate. and that's it. Oh, those two are done. Nice. Um, and what's with this roll? I mean, I roll blank and a hit. I will leave it in this way. I do not have any omen left. Yeah. Well, it looks like you have one on your board. No, 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 no. It's uh, no, no. Get rid of it. Oh, okay. I do not have it. Uh. Uh. Okay. One. Okay. Okay. One damage. Uh. Here. <clears throat> okay. So uh, he is attacking, and he's attacking with the big one. Uh, nice. He's drawing it. Tactic. He's not drawing a tactic. It's five damage. So, uh, he says he gets exhausted. So I will get a a, a blood for the night vial hunter. And uh, so three blood, and then I am killing uh, with one damage my royal guard. So one damage is done. He gets okay. killed. And. Uh... Then you okay. get a blood for um, that from your form. voiceless covenant. Exactly. Okay. And then I will put additional four damage. Uh, I will put one, two, three, and four into our defense. Uh, so we are going. 
I am attacking with the Nightfall Hunter, and I will go all in. Nice. Because I will use the blood to get it plus two. Oh, seven. So, all uh, seven, yeah. Yeah, all in. Let's tear all some in, stuff up. Mm. Uh, that's almost that's almost an omen or a fate right there. I will do it. Much better. Well, oh. yeah, lots of better. I will hit with the two criticals of the model, definitely or not. Well, we could take out. We might be able to take out yeah, one I of you guys. Take so out. Swing. Yeah, I will kill this one definitely. So that'd be one uh, and a crit to get rid of this guy. Yeah, and I one one uh, one die will go to the moon directly. Uh, so oh, here we, we go. Get a crit effect. Restart up to two ally defense and gain an omen. Nice. Ha. So okay, we... I will restore. I will restore two from your, uh, from your uh, horse. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. And uh, I will get an omen token. Nice. And uh, now the regular damage is one, two, three, four, four regular damage, which means one, two. How much is it? Okay, so three, uh, four, and that's it. This guy is attacking. And he is giving us Two. three damage. Three damage. I think it goes direct. I do not want to lose anyone here. Is it? Uh, oh yeah, it is three. Man, I don't know what I was. I was looking at his energy cost. I guess. And now I am attacking the one in. So voiceless covenant will add plus two to attack. Okay, he. I. I get one blood because he exhausted to attack. And. Uh, And 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 the voiceless, voiceless covenant will attack six dice. Oh man, that's in a, oh that's beautiful. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I will leave omen. Right now, this situation is like a omen calling. Just oh my god, one blank. Just hit your omen. Just end the omen, and I say no. I will leave the omen to the next. <laughs> I will leave this omen as it uh, uh, to the next turn. Uh, that's the plan. Okay, so it's uh, I will deal one critical damage to kill the guy with the five damage help with the five okay. damage left. Uh, yeah, and that is the omen kill. And since he died. I blood. will. I will <laughs> take blood. And one, two, three, four, five. I think we. No, we don't. We do not destroy them. Um, two, three, four, five. Is it okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, now the the wolves will attack. Or no, the the concubine. Okay. Don't forget when you deal damage to the monolith, any remaining damage will it's just lost. fizzle. Yeah. So I will not right now attack with the five dice with the common concubine because I will definitely boost her. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think I do not spend two blood to boost. Okay. I better do something twice as do not do it at all. So, okay. I, I, I paid for the common concubine for her attack <clears throat> to, for, to give it a plus two. Okay. I will attack with the, with the spirit wolf. Oh, 
Oh, oh man. <laughs> Man. Well, we could take this guy out. Well, I I don't know. No, he's oh, or 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 or. It's too critical, you know. But if you if you hit the battlefield, it's only got or the uh, monolith, okay. it's only got one hit okay. left. Okay, I will hit. Uh, I hit battlefield with one critical. Okay, that's definitely what what will what will happen. Okay, and the critical effect. We, uh, you gain one energy and one omen. Ah, that's insane. Uh, okay, so with those, uh, there is uh, okay. We are playing veteran, so any every single time you have a you have a you have a bad effect. Uh, because there will be a monolith for the new players or for the players that do not do, do not want to be as challenged as me for for, for instance. <laughs> uh, and you will have a beneficial effect. But that's not the case here. Uh, distribute four damage among allied minions. Okay. Let's see. Well, I can I can have my cat take three damage if we want. Yes, please, if you can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you can, yes. One, two, three for the cat. Mm -hmm. Or actually, uh, what if we put two on Indisputable Sovereign? Because then he can use that to weaken a minion or gain an Go omen. for it. Go for, go for it. I got three omens, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So... Oh, okay. Uh, what was my beneficial effect for the critical? Uh, you. It was this gain one. Gain one, gain one. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Sovereign takes two, and the cat takes one. Sovereign weakens two. It's got two, two. Oh, that's actually, that's not great. Well, no, that's great, I'll because I can only. Oh, no, I could. I don't have to do it on the same one. I could do it one here. And one oh, yeah, here. of course. Of course. Yes, you can do it. Two separate, uh, two separate actions. Yes, and you, we, we need to spend. Uh, we need to distribute four. So we distribute oh, two. Oh, right cat now, can right? take one more. So that's and that's it, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. Uh, now the common concubine will attack. No, 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 we still do, we still have a we still have a one critical. Now the question didn't you say that this would be if we destroyed this first, that this all would be lost? Yeah, but I just. Yeah, I mean, we can. Is... Okay, definitely, I will. I will deal uh, damage. Okay, I will not. I will not deal final damage. How to say? Well, no, we could... you, you you need to you need at first to to distribute the critical. So what we will do is I will put a critical here, then critical yep. to the battlefield. Yep, exactly. Uh, and then then that's it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, uh, common concubine. Uh, she's attacking with the five dice. And did you? I am using my blood. Did you get your blood for this minion that just got taken out? No, 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 no. So okay, so I am going to one blood, and I have five dice. I forget how Ooh. good the ah uh, yeah it's it's good uh, it's great very nice <laughs> definitely great uh, what's this oh I think that was ah uh, that is nothing okay um okay so critical will definitely go here receive two direct damage thank you man sir. Thank you, Mister. <laughs> uh, so that was our perfect critical, <laughs> but definitely I did one damage here. So one, two, three, four, five damage. Okay, I'm pretty much done next turn here. Yeah. Okay, so three damage remaining, and uh, we are good to go. Uh, we are in pretty good shape here. 
uh, yeah, but I mainly focused in this one battlefield. So, and you need, to, uh, and you are managing two battlefields. Yeah, we did. Some, uh, I I will did also some stuff on the third one. So, let's join this battle. All right. So next in this battlefield, this this guy's gonna the spaceless ambusher is gonna attack first. Um, he gets a tactic. Mm -hmm. And the tactic is oh, have we been paying? What's this one do? Ongoing whenever you okay? Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right, so tactic is green, and green is evolve this minion and each enemy minion with the same name as it. Uh, that's can, can you imagine faceless. that the, the second one minion we drew this tactic? Yeah, <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> okay, but we have the, we have a fate counter. You still have a fate counter to cast oh. it. Yes. Or, or you can redraw it with the omen token. Don't forget it. I could, I could redraw that token with but, the... But uh, right now it's okay because he's the only one to beat this yeah. name. Oh, let's so see. It's, it's okay. But we definitely do not want that any of those other guys will get the green tactic. Uh, he ha now has fangs and he will deal one damage to an allied minion and heal one damage from this minion. Oh yeah, he's vampire right now. So do I want to spend... No, I can't. I don't think I can spend any omens because I need... No, oh, I can spend one. Way, do you know what happened? He's you. You spawn two vampires. Uh, you build up the coman of the hunting ground, and he evolves into a vampire. I know. He's like watching me, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I yeah, can do exactly. that." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold my beer, man. Watch me. Uh, <laughs> so you said I could play an omen to redraw that effect. Yeah. Uh, now, no, what... it's okay, right? You think it's all right that he heals yeah, one yeah, and does a... Okay, so we basically just take this damage and move it to one of mine. Yeah. Um, we'll put it on one of the zombies. Oh, wait, but then it's not just that. It's also... Get myself confused here, Fangs. Tactic D. Okay. And then he's still got his four incoming. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do one to this guy. And we'll take out one of the, we'll take out both of these uh, Coven newborns. Mm -hmm. Which will then in turn heal us two. So one, two. I think there's just one left to take. So we'll take it on our dial. And then it is over to mine. I will attack with zombie number one. Zombie number one gets, uh, I think, a plus two from the Lord of the Undead. So yes. four dice. We're going to wreck some stuff up. Uh, two. By the way, we are both vampires, you know. We... Yeah, I thought about uh, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rival vampires. <laughs> Three damage. Uh, I don't think I want to do any re-rolling. Oh, and I'll spend my three. I'll use as a tactic. I'll mm -hmm. spend my three to um, to get rid of that other condition. I can just delete oh. these. That'll be faster. Right. Perfect. Do -do -do. So now that's gone. And three damage to distribute. So I guess all these guys will take one. Yes. One for you, one for you, and one for you. And then these guys, I think, are tied. They're the same one, so it doesn't matter which one mm -hmm. attacks. They do two damage. This guy will take one and go. No, 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 go, go back. Don't. You need to roll for a tactic. Oh, yeah. Oops. Uh... It will be probably more than one. Tactic is red. Yes. So, yes. Okay. It's nothing. Yay. Okay. So, so he is doing two. So I mean, right, uh, each and every one has one single tactic, which is really, really depend on the situation. 
it can be really nasty so he can get like plus two because he has a two omen to- uh, evolve tokens but uh, basically in most common cases the red one is uh, the nothing at all so basically what i did was a net effect of zero my zombie got killed he restored us a health and then i took the other yeah. damage on our health so, so it was it's, like a it's wash. pretty it's pretty important to have an omen token to reroll the tactic uh because there is one single tactic that evolve a single minion twice Oof. and when you are when you do not have an omen tokens it just happens so to have an omen tokens in disposal is always good so if i can recommend you the very good way how to win this game is to not using omen tokens offensively yeah. in any case yeah, because they're, they're so, and, and you don't have to worry about saving them for minions because minions don't roll dice, so you're not using them on your opponent's attack. That's the yeah, that's exactly. Yes, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's it. Because there are many tempting situations like when you roll seven dice and one of those dice are blank, so it's just asking for an omen. But do not do this, just deal with it. <laughs> Zombie number two is attacking with four. Okay. See what he can do. Oh, nice. Two, four, six damage. Can't go on any of these guys, so it's going to go on the battlefield. How much does this have currently? By the way, One, two, to, three, paint, four, to paint five. this image, to paint this mummy, when I painting it, uh, this art, it's my art, uh, I was hoping to make it as creepier as it can because <laughs> of, since from the beginning, it's just each and every zombie or mummy seems like from a grotesque movie. It doesn't give me any goosebumps at all. But this one, I think, is pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty ugly. <laughs> and you can tell he's he's been um, resurrected quite a few times. He's he's looking pretty rough. Oh, yeah, he, he looks <laughs> like my he, he looks like my, my old shoes. <laughs> Uh, so I think I have no choice but to hit the battlefield with this. There's going to be some damage lost, but it will destroy this monolith. Mm-hmm. So that's the good news. So let me get all these tokens off of here. Oh, by the way, I leave the damage tokens on the on the first one because for future oh. purposes, but I can yeah, that just makes sense. Not, yeah, just not to get mistaken. All right, what one of the uh. Pick two enemy minions, evolve them, then evolve them again. What again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, 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 okay. I, I heard. I'm going to pick these um, two because oh, they're man. both it, exhausted it, and I might be it, able to it, kill it was, them. It is, it is creator's presence. So the early candidates present there. <laughs> yeah, so do you, do you agree pick, that... Pick two enemy minions. Evolve them, then evolve them again. Evolve those that already attack, please. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah, we, I know. this guy gets evolved. <laughs> yeah, this he has been evolved. He has. He, he's been drinking some, drinking some red. Okay, Bull. so okay, and the second one is Dang. also a vampire. <laughs> that's so <laughs> ironic. <laughs> yeah, both are vampires. One has one can fly, and the second one has tentacles. Let's see. I haven't seen flying yet. What does flying do? This minion deals direct damage. Ooh. He just flies right over our defense and goes right to us. Yeah. All right. Well, these that's great because these guys don't do anything. But now this guy's going to attack. And he's got... Oh, got to do a tactic. Tactic is a green... Evolve this minion and each enemy minion with the same uh, name. Rick, as Rick. By the way, there is one space, uh, one one damage remaining on this one. Yes. Yeah. So, so you do not, uh, you, you can't target monolith if you have a place here to put the damage here. Oh uh, well, uh, the, the, Rick, the monolith. But, but nevertheless, nevertheless, you will definitely deal one damage with the with the council, so it's okay. Well, the monolith would have been blown up with some damage to spare. So oh, okay. this guy, okay, so this mind. guy would have taken two, and I think I still would have had plenty. Yeah, to How much up. I think I was has? okay. No, so it's he... okay right now. Right now, it's okay. All right, so this guy is going to uh, green. He's going to evolve, and each enemy minion. So 
is there any stack limit to the evolve tokens or can they no 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 we can have don't forget if he received the same he will devolve that's the answer to the question and he will devolve because he's already got wings. Yeah, when he will receive, we have, when he will receive, do not uh, do get do not get rid of the wings. Uh, put put the wings back uh, on him. See if I can find some wings, because I shuffle oh, okay. this up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, uh, if you will, if a minion will receive one addition. Uh, if Minion will see will receive a token that he already has, both tokens are discarded. Yeah, so that's he what is basically loses. Yeah, that's what that's why it's confused because he did have a wing already. He had wings, and then he got another wings, so he okay. Lost his wings. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, 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 perfect. So sorry, I didn't catch it. I, I tried to find my charger for the mobile phone. So sorry for that. So yes, that yes, if up. you. Will... And then this guy is going to do two damage. I think I'll just let my zombie take one. And that means that uh, we do won't not take... Forget, do not forget to heal us. Each yeah. And every one killed guy heal us one damage. Yeah. Basically, this okay. means we take no no damage because we'd be taking one left over, but he heals us one, so awesome. that is it. And then now I've got two left to attack with. He's got none. We'll go ahead and council three. Are they zombies? No. Yeah, yeah. They, they, those definitely are zombies. Yes, they are zombies. So they are going to get an attack of four as well. Let's see what we can do. Let's get some crits. Ah, uh, no, just straight damage. So five damage is going to go on the monolith. Man, five damage is it's a good hit. Yeah. Uh, I think we can win this game. I, I, the next turn we can definitely win this game. It's looking uh, good. I will. I will. If if nothing like really bad happen, like uh, I, I I will be able to kill all those guys on your battlefield. I have this one sorcery card that deal one damage to every single battle, uh, every single minion on the battlefield. But uh, there is a bad thing. I do not have any card that fetches it, and I do not have this card on my hand. <laughs> so we can uh, we can only hope. I think I'm gonna use my Bewitched Woodlands card when attacking with this guy, so I can attack with four dice oh, twice. Oh man, that's a really great idea. Oh, that's oh. that's a perfect idea. That's a perfect idea. All right, I got a crit and four, so we're gonna take out the big guy with two evolutions. And. <laughs> Do we get a heal for that? It says whenever a yes. minion is destroyed. Yes, so we yeah. get get healed for that. This has been very useful. That's, that and was damage. really good. That was really good. Ah, some of the the frustration sometimes with tabletop simulator is sometimes stuff doesn't do what you want it to do. Okay, so he's trashed, and then these two these two evolutions. By the way, do you know that we are playing the veteran mode, right? Yeah. Okay. Just, just. To... That's uh, it's impressive. I'm doing, we're doing way better than I did on my first go round, but uh, it it helps to have somebody's got a little bit more experience and and these, I, like I said, these combos that we have of our our sorcerers, I think are really really good. All right, so he's going to attack. Oh, four damage. Four damage uh, remains. Rick, Rick, we just get randomized. Oh yeah, yeah, we didn't even pick them. Uh, so this would this would destroy this monolith because it would take four more damage and it would be blown up. Yeah. I can I can tell you for sure, Rick. In any combination, if we will have any combination, and if one player and even if two players are skilled, the veteran mode is just a normal mode. Received direct, but, but you need oh. to be skilled. So this is another rebirth one. Red for the rebirth. When revealed, receive direct damage equal to the number of evolved counters on enemy minions. Oh, that's good because there's oh, only man. two. Good the thing day. I got rid of that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. One, two, and that. And then... I think we we destroyed the monolith, man. You did it. So now we we can roll again, and it's probably going to be like a not as helpful. 
because I'm going to just do five damage, which is just going to blow these guys up. And I've got nothing else to do with it. So we get two more health. Oh, man. You, this guy's you, died. You just, you just nailed it. I mean, you... Yeah, you, you win it on your own. I mean, I, I was not helping you at all. But that was your battlefield. Yeah. So congratulations, and you Thank are playing you. it with the you are you are you are destroyed with the with basically with the with the necromancer, which is the lineage where even the skilled players told me that they are hard to win with it. No, it's dumb because the oh. leech lord, the leech lord is basically the superstar in the deck, <laughs> and with is. him you are just going crazy. All right, so that's he, that's that battlefield, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. In second turn, man. And we just have one more monolith on this side, and this monolith's definitely going to go down. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I can tell you right now that we we will win, and you win the veteran scenario, man. Yeah, that's uh, going to feel we, really good. We, we, uh, I mean, we didn't use even the the vanilla monoliths. We are using the monoliths which are pretty nasty, as you can see. Those monoliths just like have yourself a five direct damage and so on. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this result. I know we will win. I am pretty sure we will win. But maybe I'm I'm wrong. We will see. Yeah. It, could, it always could go south. <laughs> uh this battlefield. We got yeah. one, one, one. Uh, so it doesn't really matter that they're all the same thing. Rick, it's great. It's great that you give me this opportunity to play together so I can just show to people how important it is in Endbringer to know the game. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, it was made to be rewarding for the players that spent a lot of time in the game. And this is my reward for those guys. The target audience of this Endbringer is the guys that spend a lot of time in Sorcerer. So this is something for them, but we will give options also for the newcomers. So for the newcomers, I definitely will uh, uh, can uh, definitely recommend to play with a lower with the lower option. And when you get to know and when you spend more more time with the sorcerer, you definitely go for the veteran mode. And as you can see, the skills are everything. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Each and every, every every single decision here matters. Every single decision matters. And and for the audience, I mean, just so you guys know, if, if you didn't catch it last stream, I'm not a super experienced player. And I don't feel like, I mean, Peter and I are talking strategically, but I don't feel like Peter is telling me what to do every turn. I'm making no, I, I didn't, my own I decisions. Didn't tell you. So, yeah. Uh, so I, I, I mean, I, okay, I, I, just, I just told you some, some tweaks. But those are something like, like global things that keep you warm, and also people that will, will will have problems to beat the game. Just watch this video, and you will not get the perfect strategy how to beat it because there are three other guys. I mean, mm -hmm. three other sorcerers. But you can get the approach that we used to with Rick to beat the game. Uh, okay, yeah. I already telling that we will beat it, but but I can tell you that in. With eighty well, percent, we build. We we all yeah. we've been the game already. And if but, we uh, if, okay, we will finish. And if we don't beat it, we're gonna get really close. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. Uh, so the bad oh. news is these guys all evolve with the tactic that happened. No 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 no. Do not what? do not let him do this. Flip your fate counter and negate it. Bye bye. Oh, that that'll negate all their evolutions. That will that will negate the tactic. Oh, it negates the tactic. Okay. So then this just doesn't happen. And if you do not have a fate counter for this purpose, you can just redraw it with the donut. That's it. I see. Okay. Yeah, this is my first time with the. Uh, no, no, the it's okay. It's Demiurge. okay. It's, that, that's the one great thing that you need to have in mind. Be aware that something like this should not let to be happened. You need to manage your resources so you will be pre prepared for the situation like like this. <clears throat> uh, two damage. I'm definitely licking, uh, like letting my cat take one. Mm -hmm. And then I've got one more. I'm thinking I want to leave all these guys up. So I'm thinking that 
This is just battlefields or our defense. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Of one. course. Of course. He's doing this one. Next guy, he will. Oh, get okay. Attacked. No, no. I am attacking. I am attacking, right? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Because his attack resolved. Yes. Yeah, so now one of us are able to attack. Okay. And it would... I will attack because they need to die. So I can put additional yes. walls into play. Okay. Let's see what I will do. Okay. So I am attacking with him. What does it mean? I am using tactic. My first tactic that I am using is that I am using the royal palace. Yeah. And I will put a, a gargoyle here. Exhausted. Okay. And now I'm rolling three dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Oh. Two hits. Uh, not, not too bad. Two hits. Yeah, it's okay. As I, as I told you, I am not complaining. I, I, I still have Omen tokens. But I in Endbringer, I always use it only in defense. Uh, and that'll so, that'll take that uh, monolith just one hit away from getting destroyed. Well, at least this guy. Oh yeah, he will, takes. We'll take one damage, and the last damage will go into monolith. Oh, well, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's seven. Okay, I was miscounting there. And uh, and that's it. And he's attacking, and right now. I will I will soak up the damage. So okay, I will I will manage. It. I will draw the tactic for him. Okay. Red, perfect. So nothing. Uh, so he has how many attacks? Two attacks. So two attacks will go to. Uh, no no no. Uh, one damage will go to both. They are dying. So we still have one damage remaining. So. Uh, okay, I will take one damage and put it on the gargoyle. They are dead, and I am using their when destroyed, and I am playing walls here. Exhausted. Okay. Nice. So, we are good. All right, so we got one more damage, and we put it, oh, we put it on the gargoyle, so we're Yeah, all set. yeah sure. So then, uh, the unicorn attacks. Mm -hmm. Unicorn. Yeah. Four dice. Will feel super nice. Nice. How much do you dislike unicorns now, oh, Peter? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, but this is a red eyed black unicorn. So let's see. The battlefield it's has. Not a common one. Battlefield has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It can take two more hits. Um, unfortunately, that means some damage is going to be lost. So one of these guys is going to get destroyed. Actually, we'll destroy the guy that would get to attack next. Oh, yeah. And then the rest of the damage is going to have to go to the monolith. So the monolith is going to get blown up. Oh, uh, and what... I think there will be something like destroy everything here. That will be super cool. <laughs> oh, like destroy every single minion in the battlefield? Yeah. Uh, you, you can definitely ex expect what we don't better on Monolith, oh. something like that. Not supposed to see that one yet. Uh, this one, Erlik Khan. What's, what's the Beast name? Unleashed. Beast Unleashed. Receive global damage equal to the number of hate counters on Erlik Khan. He has just one. He's okay. He's, okay, so my walls, or no, the the gargoyle will take one damage. All right, excellent. We just got two monoliths to go. One's gonna go down really soon. We win it. Yeah, and there's no more battles to do. So I think the next thing in in order is to do to advance the event or advance the. Uh -huh. So okay. we advance this. And round two, spawn a minion from the top of the archetype deck into each battlefield, but it's cross swords, so just the two where Erlik Khan is at. So we spawn one. Oops. Spawn one here. And we mm -hmm. spawn one over here. Uh, get this card out of the way. Spawn a minion from the top of the uh, archetype deck into each battlefield. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. So we've done <clears> that. <throat> now, next thing in turn order is do we restore everything and do that, or do we have to put spawn minions as part of his? I think spawn I, for right now. And we just do one in each battlefield? Uh, no, two? no, one per, one per player. We can get rid of those guys, definitely. Two. One. They're definitely running out trying to save oh, the day here. Check oh, check this guy. Yeah, we have a horseman. At the end of each round, evolve each enemy minion, including this one. Uh, by the way, this is the horseman of the apocalypse for information. Uh, is there one That's like the in rebirth? Each? That's the rebirth. Yes. Ah, yes. Neat. Uh, this is the this is the horseman of rebirth. There is nice. the horseman of war and so on. At the end of each turn, evolve each enemy minion. Oh my god, we need yeah. to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he's got to go down. He's got to go. <laughs> okay, so I will roll where the early can will go. Okay. Three, come here, oh, man. Oh, he's finally moving. Yeah. I kind of like that because this battlefield is going to be toast soon anyway, so. Yes, yes, that's perfect. So we need just to, to stand. Maybe we could do some reinforcement because you do not need to be offensive on the middle one. And Leech Lord is definitely an <laughs> offensive guy. <laughs> um, we will see. All right. Okay, and I so can I move. am going... I can go in first. I think I'm going first. Uh, do you? Uh, so okay, we we will get an omen token. Don't forget it. I got mine. Yeah. Open these. Go. We gotta get stood up. Oh, by the way, did you try the voodoo ones? The voodoo guys. Yes. Yes, that was one of the ones I got to play test. Really? That okay. that was fun. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, actually, I think both of us play. The guy that I was, the, the friend of mine that's been playing Sorcerer with me, we did a lot of play testing. Oh, and nice. So Say I hello. Think, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm saying hello to him. Thank you very much. Also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he goes by the he goes by the moniker Funk Lord. Um, and oh, okay. He played he played with the Voodoo deck one time, and I played with the Voodoo deck one time. He okay. was the one who played with. Uh, I think we both played with um, what's her name, the Japanese sorcerer Tatsu. Tatsu, but he yeah. like just souped her up so bad he was like blowing me up with Tatsu. I, I hated oh, her. Oh, okay. But uh, but yeah, uh, the 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 voodoo one, which for those who don't know, it's the House of Petro Petro the Ritualist. House of Petro. Yes, 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 yes. You have different. How do you pronounce it? Loas. Loas, yes. Different Loas. Uh, you... It's not up to me to pronounce it. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. A, I'm not a good guy to pronounce it. By the way, sorry for all those. Uh, I, I mean, to design the ritual is it was pretty hard for. Do you know why? Because the voodoo is a religion. Yes. So, so you to, don't want you need to... to be very, very. You need to be very uh, informed. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it it took like. I think more than a quarter of the year to deep dive and to uh, and to and to read about voodoo and so on. Man, after that time, I was nearly able to summon some things. <laughs> I mean, I, I really deep dive. Therefore, you can you can find uh, things like a, like a, uh, like a young priest uh, and so on. All those names are pretty researched. So. Uh, so every every name of the card, uh, you can Google it simply uh, to to uh, to just uh, when you will have a time, uh, just try to Google the names of the cards, and you will find out that you will learn pretty much cool things about the voodoo itself. Yeah, it was after the one thing about each of these decks is after I play with them, then it, it makes me want to go out and and learn more about the culture, about the 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 lore, the myths, all that. And so with yeah. the voodoo one, I definitely was curious, and I did a lot of reading up on voodoo and 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 what the loas are. So basically, they're they're different spirits that yeah. somebody who's a voodoo oh, yes, priest can yes, allow them yes. to to mount them, mount it, to mount them. Yes. 
yes. and, and and basically almost like a possession type of thing where they take on the aspects exactly. and the powers of that exactly. that particular loa so that's what that particular deck does is you've got several different loas and each turn you switch and you have a different loa mount you and that loa gives you certain powers based on yes their yes. lore yeah yes it's very lore wise right cool well, we are heading into round three, and I think this might be the final round if we are fortunate. Mm -hmm. um, I ha We have to decide if we want to move our sorcerers. If it wasn't for uh, this this real jerky guy landing here, I'd almost want to move out of it. I will definitely go back into the first battlefield because I need to give myself a little more blood. And since I have a common concubine there, it's in my best intentions to put a vampire on the first battlefield. So, Rick, what I am just recommending is leave the first battlefield entirely on me, mm -hmm. and I will leave you the last battlefield. And yeah, I, I don't think I need to leave Stigisman here. I can move him over here. <clears throat> yes, please. What I will do, I will probably reinforce the gargoyle. Uh... So the gargoyle has flying, right? So I can uh, reinforce her into the first yes. battlefield. So I can then... No, that's bad. Okay, I will do one reinforcement action in this turn. What I will Actually, do is... I, I, can, I can transfer gargoyle to the first battlefield so it will die. And during that reinforcement, I will reinforce my avatar into the battlefield, to the middle battlefield, where I can stand the ground with the gargoyle. Does it make sense? I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. Like, uh, would we? Wouldn't we want to leave the gargoyle here because this is the last? Will be the last monolith, and this one no, we don't. No, no, need gargoyle, as much will be, gargoyle will not need to be here because she's just a um, space. Oh, uh, <laughs> I because she's already got two damage. I mean, she. I mean, we need here a really beat up guys. We do not need here defensive guys anymore. Mm -hmm. We ha Rick, we have thirty seven left. 37 defense left and and now that you mentioned you're right because i can now that he's over here he can spawn his oh yes he can <laughs> oh but then that sucks because i'm gonna have to choose whether i want to put the coven newborns down or if i want to put a for a coven fortification you down. will see you will see because yeah. he has some he had some sorceries that will allow you to spawn them Okay, uh, I am going first. So, oh, for for energy, right? So I'm going into five. Okay, I am giving myself two energy, and that's it. Okay, okay. Lake, go on. What do you have for us? Uh, generate two hate counters. Fine. I think we, we we read up each and every single flavor text, so it's boiling blood. Yeah. <laughs> we do not need to read it again. Right. Uh, so, uh, so he had three hate counters as I. Okay. Um, I think that's it. that's it. I think I'm going to give myself some options, and I'm going to draw two cards. <clears throat> Perfect. That's a good thing. Uh, I think I will not do the same because. Uh, let me see. Okay. I will add up two energy, and you can only count what will happen. Okay. Okay, so two energy, and his card is... Choose one. Lose an omen or generate a hate counter. I will generate the hate counter. Yeah, because now he's getting pretty full. You can go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. We can only have six here. Okay, so I, I think... I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want to play stuff. I think I'm going to spend two. Put me down to seven. 
Mm -hmm. And I am going to play down. Uh, oop, I zoomed out there. Playing my pure blood tracker. And while I have a coven fortification, it gets plus two attack. So it's going to be an attack of four. And I get a omen. Oh, and that was my okay. second action, actually. I renamed my I, I renamed myself in the Zoom because uh, there was my name from from an RPG session. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the way. Well, you so know, and actually, that's are from the Finland. <laughs> that's okay because they can't see that. They I've got both ah, of okay. us kind of cropped in, so they just have like oh, a square just okay. showing our image. So. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see. Ehrlich Khan time. Ehrlich Khan says, Flamestorm, choose one. Randomly discard a card or generate a hate counter. I'm thinking maybe we go ahead and pop his hate. Yes, definitely. So uh, that's perfect because I will kill the gargoyle. I will kill the gargoyle. Yes. So gargoyle is killed. That's one damage. Uh, I can I can take something out of this battlefield. You know what? I'll let the cat take a damage because the cat can then get put it, Yes, if put I it out. Put, put her out. Definitely. So cat takes one. And plus I want to put more stuff into that battlefield. And I exactly. don't have room. Um, yes. So right now, right now, there is no place for a V guy. Sorry. Sovereign can't take any more hits. This guy can't take. This can't. This can't. Um... So we're left with what? We're looking at three more damage coming in. Actually, I could take Sovereign out. Because what, what I'm thinking is... Are you able to... I will definitely play... No, you want me? Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry. I will definitely play a big vampire there. Yeah, because and see... I will, not, I will not put him into the battlefield when I will risk that we will, we will draw the card that and see what I what I would like to do in this battlefield is I've got a minion that gets a bonus for each of my coven newborns, so I'll use him to spawn two coven newborns in here. Plus, I'll play that one, and then it will have an attack of six. Okay, my question is: Do you need also a space for the wolves? I will gladly kill them right now. Ah, uh, I mean they're full health. I mean, heavier, I guess heavier, so. heavier time, heavier time. I mean, if you're fine with, I mean, I am fine with it definitely. If you because it's it's a space when you can manage to give more attack into no. it more, so I will put them out. But yeah, you know what? With what I'm putting down there, I think we leave the wolves. I take the sovereign out on his as he exits the battlefield. He'll do. He'll weaken. Can he weaken? He can weaken that one. And he can weaken that one. So maybe we just let him go. Because I'll be putting a lot of firepower in there anyways. Well, By the way, you can gain you can gain an omen. You do not need to weaken anyone. I mean you can get an omen. Oh with oh yeah, instead of weakening. And right now, the omens can be crucial because you can reroll die even for offense. Because right now, we will definitely reroll also an offensive dice. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. need to win this game. We need to win this game this turn. We are so close. So that means that we, we need a lot of omens. All right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take this guy down. Right now, right now Rick, we will go re really like head against the wall. Because uh, we have 37 lives, so we will just soak up, soak up, soak up damage, and we will maximize our power. So until now, we are we were playing smart. We were defend. We will. We are playing defensively. Also, we have some smart and good attacks. But okay. right now, we are go courageously into him. Okay. Because playing smart. Give us 37 lives. We healed. We managed that we will heal. We play defense minions with a lot of health. And right now, we are in 37 lives, uh, 37 defense left. So we can manage to go just 
Yeah, we can we can weather we can weather, our heads we can weather exactly. the storm. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I think that was his reaction to my turn. So then I think it is is you. Matthias Livolsi. Do you know? Do you know why I play him right there? And uh, not into my battlefield? Because, uh, no. Think about Tell it. me more. Because of the no, fact think that... About it. I, I will give you just a half minute. Just think about it. Why I, I put him in here? There need to be reason because I do not have any benefits here, but I simply put him here. Okay. Because early can didn't draw the, this card. Oh. He will kill the minion with the five and more health. Uh, attack. I see. I just need to avoid this. I see. Okay, so I will so, get... So, because he can't uh, die over here, he's safe. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I will say... Yes, he's nine attack here, so we will need him. Uh, seven attack, sorry, but... Uh, okay, he, he, he can use it as a blood, omen tokens. So, he will be... He will be like a killer here. Yeah. Fine. So, <clears throat> that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Ehrlich Khan. Choose one, lose an omen or generate a hate counter. I will lose an omen. Yeah. For sure. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. um, move my action tracker. I'm going to tap this guy to... By the way, yeah. you need to always you need to always thinking like way like I know that there is no other conditions. We get rid of three conditions. And they are definitely in the discard pile, uh, and early hand is only six card remaining. These guys can go in this battlefield here. Yeah, basically. Uh, do not take me too much seriously because I really know each and every card. Um, so I know the options, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's easy for me to tell you that, oh, Rick, just check it out. There are no other conditions left <laughs> on. I know that I'm not in this position as a newcomer. Newcomer guys will be like, oh my God, what he's telling? What, why, what, what? Uh, <laughs> so do not take me too seriously, but you can be there. When you will play this game a lot, you will just manage it out and you will and enjoy it. I'm having a really good time too. I feel like this is, it's manageable. And I know you said too, it's actually easier solo than it is. The more people you add on, the harder the game technically gets. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Ehrlich, hey cat, don't do that. <laughs> uh, Ehrlich is going to exhaust an allied minion if I can't generate a hate counter. Well, we can exhaust one of the little dudes. No, 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 no. No? Give him a, give him a hate. Oh, give him a hate because he's empty? Uh, yes, of course. I mean, those dudes can be really, really bad. I mean, right now he has plus one attack, so he's 2-2. Two, two. Plus one attack, so he has two attack right now. And oh, yeah. if you will manage to put additional one, there will be each three attack. And one hate counter, man, with those life that we have, it's okay. All right, so that's it. Oh, 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 oh sorry. Uh, Erlikan is not there, so even that you cannot exhaust him. Oh, okay, it's got to be yeah, because of exactly. saying cross swords or wait, exactly. yeah, cross swords. Yeah, okay, yeah. All right, over to you. Okay. I will add to energy, obviously. Ehrlich, what are you doing? Earthshaker. Exos and allied minion if you can generate it. Okay. The hate counter. Here you go. <laughs> okay, you can go. Get mad if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I definitely do not want to exhaust anyone. Oh, basically, we can exhaust them. 
because you do not need to attack me though but you want to attack because we we need yeah. to get rid of yeah yeah no no it's okay everything is okay i had right. a hate counter we can manage five so action for me you were first player right this round yeah yeah okay. exactly all right i'm gonna pay four energy i'm at seven so that brings me down to three mm -hmm. i'm gonna bring down the dragon knight which gives me i'll get two omen counters uh rick if you if if you have the opportunity to manage the the name of this stream just put them something like those clickbaiting stuff like we beat it and we beat the veteran <sighs> So, is, is anyone? No, no. Clickbait is a wrong thing. I, I'm not a huge though. I do not know. I do not know those terminologies, but I consider clickbait like something that. Oh, oh my god! I need to check it. So uh, the, un but... the, un the unfortunate thing is, I have to set it at the start of the stream. I don't think I can change yeah. it. And the other thing that yeah. sucks is, I found out even yeah. if I change the name afterwards when I share it, it still oh, has the original name. I see. Uh, but that's not a problem because we will put it into the com or into the into the head. You know oh, what I mean? Into the... yeah. No, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Um, I can change this as long mm -hmm. as I change this name before I start sharing it out. We'll be good. It's so. because it's because there are plenty right now. Plenty of complaints that the game is unbeatable. That the game is pretty hard, and we just show people that we managed to win it pretty easily. By the way, uh, on the veteran mode. And we are using uh, and we are showing people uh, what's the approach you need, what 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 do, what needs to be your mindset uh, yeah. to lead into the win. So this video is very important. I think it's the most important video that was created uh, for the Endbringer, definitely. Yeah, and I, I would say I know I talked to Debbie from Wise Wizard. Uh -huh. yeah. She's she was going to look into getting a pre-order link up. Or oh, and bringer, that um, will be perfect. So the people can uh, reorder it or something like uh, laid back. Yeah, I don't see it up yet on the Wise Wizard site, but I know that's something she's working on. So you'll want to keep an eye mm. out for that because they okay. do want to make it available if you want to pre-order it before it actually sure. gets over here and gets distributed. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so that is that. So that's your turn then. Yeah, you played the oh, wait, Dragon Ehrlich. Knight. Ehrlich hasn't acted yet. Uh, Sorry, did you Ehrlich. get an omen? Did you get I, an omen for... I did. I got two omens for my Coven Newborn that I had in okay. there. Oh, but I didn't get an omen for just playing the card. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm flush with omens now. Yes, All right, is. so Ehrlich is... Receive damage equal to the number of allied minions generate a hate counter that that's terrible one two three four five six seven damage oh oh that's good because it's just that whoo it's just that battlefield and he generates a hate seven damage oh how do we want to shuffle this around okay i will definitely put damage here okay i can't i can't i will not i will not destroy the minions so what we will do just so is just put damage where you can uh, oh, Dragon oh, Knight can. can take two. No, no, you can't. You can't. You can't. It's cross swords. Oh, that's right. So it's got to be here. Well, none of these can take damage without being okay. Uh, eliminated. Rick. Five, seven. Oh, okay. there, are, yeah, because we should, Go should be good. <laughs> yeah, we should, be good. we should be good. Oh my God, man! If we lose this, I will be so ashamed. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was pretty nasty, by the way. Seven kind of damage is hardcore. Yeah, I mean, if we really get in a pickle, we can wipe some minions off the board, but obviously yes, we we'll try you and can keep heal them out those there. And so, okay, we will see. It can be pretty, pretty bad. We will see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that yeah, so that wraps up my turn because Ehrlich did his thing. He did damage. He gained his hate counter. And the other thing too is, I was thinking of my last two actions. I may just spawn out zombies, just uh -huh. as just as meat shields into this central battlefield. Uh, by the way, oh. show show me the difficulties. Where are the difficulties that we can make? 
difficulties. Uh, okay, good. what do we have here? Veteran is played with scenario hard. Played it with scenario. The game doesn't end until the end of round phase. After the last one of the destroyed players, defense is reduced to zero before. Okay, we will play hard. Madness. Play with scenario. The nemesis takes an action before each. Oh, that's too late. So, oh, man. Okay, next time we will play on madness mode. But right now we are <laughs> playing on hard. Rick, we are playing on hard. So we that just. Means we need to we need to survive until the end of the round. Yes. So we ordinarily, once you destroy the final monolith, it's game over. You win. We're saying, yep. okay, we may destroy the final monolith, but we still have to survive till the very uh, end of the round. We will see because there is a. We will receive one global damage for each enemy minion, and we need to survive this. Okay. It's leading the invasion. So right now there's nine, but hopefully we'll. Eliminate a yeah. lot of those off the board. Uh, so, so, so sorry, we are not playing on veteran. We are playing on hard. Okay, that, um... that's, that's how I like it, man. That's how I like <laughs> it. Okay, right. uh, yeah, let's so... continue. All you on your uh, your turn now. I didn't use Ragnar. I will definitely use Ragnar. I will definitely play Wolf or. Let me see. Let me see. I can. I have two energy left. If I will add two energy, I can manage to play her and add a blood. Okay. But two energy, and then I can. Uh, decisions, decisions. Okay, so I will add two energy. Okay, <clears throat> okay, I will add two energy. Please. Oh, I put my cat in your discard pile. I was looking for that. I was like, where'd my cat go? <laughs> it's cat, you know. Um, yeah. Receive. Oh, receive four direct. Receive four direct damage. Now we're talking, baby. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're fighting back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he gets angry. I like it. That's cool. Uh, okay, you can go. Uh, so I was going to bring some zombies out, but yeah, I out. might bring my cat back so we can soak some more damage. You may play this minion from your graveyard if you do so. So I still have to pay for the cat if I play him from my graveyard. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, only the mummies are for free. Let's put him here, actually, and use my necromancer power, <laughs> and <laughs> I can... I can exhaust a skill card to weaken a non-legend minion twice. But Rick, 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 yeah. be aware that we will not have additional Spaces. opportunity to... Yes. I will play one additional minion into the first battlefield. That's it. That's what I will do. I will play the Voiceless Covenant. So I will give. I will play the 4-3, three, 3 Essence to the first one. Uh, so let's play him here then. Um, don't forget that we are playing on hard. We need to yeah. survive the invasion. So that means we need to survive one global damage for each enemy minion at the end of. So it will be really good to get rid of them. So that takes my three energy. I get an omen. I got omens for days. That's good. And yeah, this is actually good to keep him here, now that I think about it, because he's got yes. a lot of damage he can yes. soak, and he's exactly. in one of exactly. Ehrlich's battlefields. So. Exactly. Perfect. Good decision. Yes. So I, I let's agree. see what I happens. Uh, choose one. Randomly discard a card or generate a hate counter. Uh, at this point, I'm good just dis randomly discarding a card. Exactly. Perfect. Because I'm not going to really need any of these. Yes. Yes. Oops. And uh, we do not want to have a five level damage anymore. I mean, those, those 26. Those 26 defense can go drop to zero pretty quick. Uh, all <clears throat> right. Um, let's see. Did I move my marker? Oh, I didn't move my marker. And now it is back to your turn. We both have one action left.
So whenever you're you're ready. Am I going? Sorry. Oh yeah, sorry. Your turn. Perfect. Uh, so we have one action apiece for us. The last twin, and I am playing the Voices Covenant. As I said, uh, I am exhausting my Bloodlord card. Uh, by the way, I'm not playing on 100%, right? Because I did not use the Dragonheart skill card right now and so on. So I did pretty much several mistakes during this gameplay, but we will manage to win it either. Uh, either way, um, okay, so Omen for uh, for the card itself, one Omen for the, uh, for the Vampire Covenant, and the one Blood... I think I... I Okay, I think I get one blood for it. Okay, nevertheless. <clears throat> uh, I'm done. I'm pretty absolutely done. I'm let's out see. of cards. Okay, let's see the early counts. Action, last card. Receive damage equal to the number of hate counters on early can. So Three. receive damage. So I will put one, two, and you can put one damage on your cat. Yep. And we're good to go. Okay, I will shuffle Ehrlich's deck. Okay. And flip him. And shuffle. And you are good to go. All right, so I am actually, I was debating whether putting my zombie here <coughs> and being able to use my Necromancer power or putting him here and have him be a shield. And the other benefit to that is because of this coven here. He dies, he gives us the health. So I think I'm going to put him there because right now we want to survive. So we need as much hit points as we can manage. Okay, perfect. And then that's going to be my last action. And then Ehrlichon will rec we receive four direct damage. Woohoo. Getting serious, getting kind of hectic. All right, uh, and then we've all oh we've taken all our turns. It's time for battle, yeah. And they will strike okay, first so, over here. Yeah, so he is attacking first. Uh, uh, we'll do a, this one, this dude will attack. We have to do a tactic. White, if this minion does not have any evolve counters on it, evolve it. Then evolve it again. Forget it. Redraw. Omen token spent. Oh, redraw a card? Of course. Okay, so... Red one, our, red one. Red, yes. yay! Thank you very much. Uh, so, for attack, uh, it can go directly into my into our life. One, two, three, four. Okay, I am going... Uh, <coughs> I will attack with this lady, and I will attack with Olin. That means I will pay two blood, and I will add one blood, because enemy... Uh, was exhausted to attack. Yeah. So, all in. Let's see. Nice. Let's blow it up. Oh my god, man. I think this is overkill. Yeah, really, yeah save was, your blood. Yeah, because we that don't... Was, that, was, that was really bad because this is an overkill. I think you, I think you can take that, that back. Do, that's, that's, that does not... This, this was not necessary. Yeah. <laughs> so, two dice back. I, I mean, I mean the, that was the wrong decision to bring the Voiceless Covenant here. Because we had mm. one space on the third one. Okay. I, I As I said, I did a plenty of mistakes this game. And we still will manage to win it on hard. Oh, Let's nice. Take this one. So oh, how many man. damage do we one, have One, two, here? three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will definitely put those two criticals into Battlefield. Definitely. Okay, so we'll get two critical effects? Yes. Critical effect one, destroy an allied minion with attack five or more. Oh, well, we're safe. Oh, wait, no, that, that wasn't it. Uh, gain one energy and one omen. Oh, my God, man. I need to get a heart attack. Okay, so uh, gain one energy and one omen. And then distribute two damage among enemy minions. Okay, just a second. One energy, one omen. And now distribute two damage. Between enemy minions, yeah. Okay, so okay, so this one is dead. This one is dead. On the third battlefield, I killed two minions. Oh yeah, because oh wait, can we? Can we? You can. 
It's still the, the monolith is still there, right? But th those are the critical. Distribute two damage to distribute oh. two damage into enemy minions. That's it. Oh, okay, because it doesn't because it's not coming from us. It's just coming from the effect. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, but that was a good thing. And I think there was uh, how many damage it was left. I think three damage. I I rolled the dice. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because the criticals. Yep. And now three damage, so it goes like one or two damage. I don't know. It's it's really not important right now. He's yeah. attacking. He's uh, attacking. Uh, oh, uh, come here, tactic. Why are you not drawing from the card? I am uh, okay. I will do. Red one, perfect. Yay. Bye. Uh, so how many damage? He does three. three damage. Okay, so she will die. I will get the blood for it. Uh, this was one damage. Uh, and I can kill additional one because I will yeah. definitely. Okay, I will. I will kill that guy. So, uh, how much? Only one remaining? Yeah. Okay. And I will get blood. And I will attack with this lady here with the four dice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I will kill that guy here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Here, just do, uh, do, hit, do you hit, remember the roll? Hit Q twice. Q? Yeah. Oh, but it didn't do all of them. I know there were two criticals. Okay. So that's uh, okay, enough so to I take this guy out. Take this guy out. <clears throat> and I will destroy the battlefield. Or no, I will not destroy the battlefield. I will put norm, uh, critical here, and then the regular hits will go into battlefield. One, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight, nine, which will destroy the battlefield. So this guy's also gone? Uh, not yet. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> just a second, just... He already attacked, I think. Yeah, he did. So, what what's stated here? We exhaust and weaken all allied millions. And that's why... Okay. <laughs> exhaust and weaken all, ex all minions. They can be weakened, but they can be exhausted. But nevertheless, we destroy the battlefield, right? Yep. Uh, okay, so he will just count to the global damage at the end. Oh, no, it's okay. It's one minion. That's okay. Okay, the middle one. So you can just finish here. Now, does that one. does that affect, because it's cross swords, uh, does it affect both battlefields, or it just affects... Like, since Ehrlich Khan is in the middle here, does that affect this battlefield too? Do these guys get exhausted? And we can all allow minions. Or does oh. it does it affect? Uh, well, yeah, it's just cross swords. Yeah, no, no, it's exhaust all. Yes, also are here. Yes, yes. So none of my guys will get to attack, but they'll at least be able to soak damage, which is fine. So yeah. first, this guy is gonna attack. By the way, guys, those we are playing on the hard mode. In veteran and hard mode, uh, you are using those nasty effects on the monoliths. In normal mode and easy mode, you will have a beneficial effects. When you destroy a monolith, you will get some benefits. It's me and Rick are playing game on hard mode. So this is for, for people that really love to have a huge challenge. Because right. can you imagine, can you imagine, Rick, with, that this will happen and we, we were just focused that we will destroy this battlefield and suddenly 
<laughs> Each of everyone will be exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad. <clears throat> uh this guy this guy ended up with the tactic he evolved and the ta the evolution allows he's cunning, so now we resolve an additional archetype tactic. Why 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 why? You can also negate the tactic. Oh, so you by spending an omen? Or uh, with spending an omen, you can redraw a tactic, draw another one, redraw a tactic card. And All spending right. a fate counter, you can negate it. Well, let's see. What do we want to do? Is there um, the green is of all this many? Well, that one, that's kind of the same. Red would be great. White. So there's only the only thing that would be good is if we got red. Everything else would be. Okay, <clears throat> but I think it's okay, right? What what does the the ice? It just he what gets another tactic, and we can oh look at that God. tactic. And if we don't like that tactic, we can okay, we can okay. So it. he has a plenty of ice, right? Yeah, <laughs> he's he's very eyeball-y. Uh, blue. Evolve this minion, so he's just gonna evolve again potentially. Yeah, I think yes. It's I fine. It's just him, so. Uh, and it's Scorpion's tail. tail. Whenever an allied minion attacks, weaken it. Ooh. And we can't... Well, none of my... Hey, none of my minions are going to attack, so <laughs> that's <yes>, fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so then he's doing five damage. First, I will have my mummy take two. Mm -hmm. So and... he takes three, exactly. He takes three, because he died. He takes three... I mean, during the hunting round. Oh, so he t he takes two damage, and then we get one back. So we only take one on our health dial, right? Or no, yeah. we get one because he took two, and then we gain one. Yes. And then next, uh, that was two, and he was doing five, so we need three more. Uh, cat will take. Sure, cat will take three, and then we'll get another health, and that's it. That's all the damage we need to soak for that one. And then next minion, I think these guys are no, they're not the same. Uh, Soulless one attacks next. He gets a tactic, And it's a red. Uh, oh, wait. Red actually has an effect now, right? Red, this minion... No, no effect. no effect. Oh, he's yeah. got no. Okay, so that's fine. <clears throat> so he's doing five. That's fine. Let's see what we got here. Oop. Did not mean to zoom in that much. This one can take one more. This one can take one more. So we'll, both of those will take one apiece. That'll up us two. And might as well just kill this guy too. Um, and so all together we absorbed three of mm -hmm. the five. So we're going to take two now back. Puts us back down to 24. And these guys are all toast, which means this last guy when he attacks, whatever he does is going to go through. Eh. Okay. I'm just going to get rid of these guys. Thanks for playing, guys. And grab both you guys. Do you know, Rick, what is great on this thing? Uh, in Endbringer, when you will, when you will have, I don't know, with luck or something like that. But if you will, if you will play with somebody who is new to sorcerer, you can also give him a lead like uh, I did to you, or or, or just uh, you know what I mean. When you are playing with someone with experience. The experience level for you to gain the new information is to raise like 10 times yeah. as, as, as two newcomers will try to learn. That's yeah. the great thing. It's like an MMO. When you are exping with somebody in, in a level 60 and you are level 20, you are basically twice as much quick to, for leveling up. Yeah. Um, awesome. I'm speaking about the, I'm speaking about the, the, the experience. So you are playing on hard, right? Right now. Yeah, we're playing. playing we're playing on hard mode. We've just got one last battlefield left. This guy attacked. He his tactic was a red dot, no effect. 
He did his damage to directly to our defense. But okay. now that battlefield's resolved. And now the only battlefield we have left is one where Ehrlich Khan is not in. We get to attack first. Uh, did we want to swing with I am attack. The... I, I will swing with this guy. Okay. With Matthews. Matthews is swinging, of course, obviously all in. Let's see. All right. So we. I will use my three omen tokens to reroll. Two blanks. This die, this die, this die. Oh my god, it was a pretty reroll, but no. Oh, okay. Now we roll. Not okay. Bad. Well, that's not bad, but even not best. Uh, I will reload that die again. Nice. Ah, two crits. Now we're talking. Okay. So both crits will go into the monolith. All right. Our prizes are these two. Okay. Sorry. So, uh, lose. Oh, wait. No. There Gain an cards. omen. Gain an okay. omen and then draw two cards and discard a card, which is pretty useless right now. Okay, but I get an open back. And now, uh, how much damage? One, two, three, four, five, six damage. So one damage here, two damage here, uh, two damage here, and three damage here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. I think, yeah, I think you are good. So yeah, this guy... Swings at us next. He's got an attack of three. Okay, that's easy. Yep. <laughs> and do we want Dragon Knight to go next? Just give me a second because your blood pool abilities cause one less blood to use. But I didn't. Oh my god, I have so much blood left. Okay, I did a plenty of mistakes, man. Well, but I think, okay, we are real. I think you can boost my vampire, right? With your you blood can. power? No, 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 we definitely no. can. Okay. You do not have this key. Uh, uh, you do not have our symbol. You are not from our lineage. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> All right, well, I'll attack with my dragon knight and roll four. I got lots of resources for rerolls if I need them. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to spend three omens to reroll those. Or should I just reroll? Well, no, I want to keep the crit. Uh, how much dice did you roll? Where are those Four. dice? Four. They're right here. No, no, reroll everything. I will I will give a fate counter. Come on. <laughs> how about the same thing? You can use your fate counter. Yeah? <laughs> use it. Uh, Rick. Do you know that we need to destroy this battlefield because we are screwed? <laughs> yeah, so it's all or nothing, man. We can't. We need. We need to. We need to spend everything here. Two omens being spent on these guys. Okay, I am using two omens, so please reroll those two. Okay. Please, man. Uh, we'll okay, reroll the last one. Come on. Oop. Uh, come here, you. Uh, I can spend one. Yes, please. We need. We really need to kill it. <laughs> well, if, we, can... if, we, if we didn't manage it, we will lose the game. Because right. next turn we will not. Yes. <clears throat> okay. I'll oh my God! Leave one. it. Oh no! 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 Come on. I will flip your fate counter, right? Oh, I, I already. Used it. Okay. I already. Yeah. There we oh. go. Okay. At least. So that's four. With a critical, let's see, it's got five. Yeah, so that's enough. If it matters, we get a crit bonus on that. Yes. Which is, uh, we gain an omen. Okay. So I'll gain uh, one back. Okay, but it's not the end of the game because we are playing yep. the hard mode. So now we got to see what this does to us. Yes. That's an Ehrlich one. Receive six direct damage. Uh, Come on, man. 
the worst. <laughs> okay, we have 15 lives left. All right. Well, uh, oh yeah. So these guys still get to attack. Yes. Or yes, one guy we gets need to attack. survive. At the... One guy, yes. Uh, we need to survive. Well, he's just doing two, two damage. Okay, so it will go into into Matthias. Uh, I will strike with the wolves. Uh, that's three dice. There's those three dice here. Come on. Critical and nice. critical. I think that kills them both. Bye, guys. And now we need to just check the final the final step. So at the end, it just goes. We will progress the leading the horde, leading the invasion. Receive one global damage for each enemy minion. So we will four. receive one, two, three, four damage. So which kill my wolves? I can kill which kill my wolves and and yeah. <laughs> we, okay, we basically congra con congratulations, Mister. I mean, you you beat it on hard. Yeah, we we did it. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to change that uh, title. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we did yeah, it like... pretty easily, I think. We we did not have any something like shocking thing. Okay, uh, I I think. Several of those monoliths, when when they were destroyed, it gets really painful. Like those five <laughs> direct damage and those that exhausting was really nasty. But at the end of the game, I think we we should manage even the the, the nightmare mode. I think, I I think yes. Yeah, that uh, that was amazing, and um, yeah, I I I, I had a really fun time doing this because if i felt like there was never a moment in time where i felt like we were in true danger of, of losing i think we pretty much handled things really well yeah so rick basically you just earned a video when you are just showing people that man is not as hard yeah you can do it i did it you can too <laughs> yeah all right well, thanks okay, so much, did Peter. You, did you did you did you enjoy the game? Did you enjoy it, the session and so on? So I had me, a blast. Me, yes, me too. Me too. It was it was pretty it was pretty cool. So uh, I hope we will meet again and play again. So yeah, that would be great. See. That would be great. Anything anything else you want to tell everybody? Or I think we got the 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 uh oh of changes. course of course one important thing is uh yeah there will be a patch to come this week uh it will have some things uh pointing to the uh to the get some additional easier modes for you uh to to step into game more easily to not get oh, be yes. punished by by a low skill uh level uh right now after if you watch this whole stream uh thank you very much for the attention because this was i think Four hours. Um, Let's see, twelve thirty to yeah. four o'clock. It was about three and a half. Yeah. So you just saw that it can be beaten even on hard mode, uh, but it needs to. It, it needs to. It, it it needs you to be pretty uh, <clears throat> pretty skilled in the game, and you get to know what you are playing. You get to know. Uh, you get to be perfectly uh, synergized with your partner that you are playing with. And uh, you need to be very careful what you are doing. Yeah, and sure. all those elements, when you will use it, you can beat it pretty, not pretty easily. It was not as easy uh, on hard mode. <clears throat> so, so it can be beaten up, but you cannot play too much impulsively. You need to cooperate with your partner and you can be pretty, you can do really clever decisions. And there is one thing I can only recommend you just uh manage your resources mm -hmm. um you you can see how 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 good for us was that we did not use omens during the whole game uh for for our own rerolls we only yeah. used omens just to transfer it for, from the turn to turn and we manage those omens because even me and even uh even rick does not play a sets that are really heavy on omens but we are not uh but we can manage to have them so all of those decisions lead us to victory 
So, so that's important thing. When you watch the show, you can get everything you need to have. You will get yeah. the mindset how to play the Endbringer. Uh, this mindset is in the whole game, not in the early can and so on. It will be in in whole game. You you need to have clever decisions. This game is is not for how to say not. It's not only dice checking. I know there is mm -hmm. dice, of course, but managing resources is this a heavy element of the whole game to manage your resources. Without it, even luck will not help you. Yes. Uh, and that's it. And the, the last thing, I, I do not have an opportunity to tell people that uh, thank you very much for all the, all your patience. Because we are pretty aware that we are too, 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 too late uh, after after the delivery date, date was um, uh, uh, was uh, scheduled. One part is based uh, on COVID situation, which is just not missable and the second thing is uh the game is just too big i mean not too big component wise but the 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 whole design of it like you are mix and match sets and so on it gets like heavy as as hell all those mm -hmm. things there is not a simple effect that is on a card twice you you are you do not have something like a two two flying and three three flying four four flying five five flying and you have four slots already there no 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 in this game each and every card has an effect and each card has has a different effect and to bring all this together just was out of my how to say powers rob is helping me of course uh but at the end of the day right now i'm very happy with the design i'm very happy with the game had have its turn off and I just can't wait that you will get a physical copies and you will you you will deep dive into it. The, the sorcery yeah. is not a game that it, it it's a hard word. It's not a game, but it's not a game that you can play like you will came and you will play one or two games and then put it into the shelf and it will be the dice uh, and it will be the dusk catcher, the dusk <laughs> catcher. Sorcery not that kind of game. It's a game yeah. that wants your time to be put into this, uh, wants your skills, and so on. And Endbringer is double that. Yeah. This game I... will reward you. This game will reward you for your time that you will spend into it. It will reward you. So, yeah, and that's that's all I, I, I just want to tell. Yeah, and I, <clears throat> I gotta say, like, for the solo experience, it the way this game operates, yes, it's not the same as playing against a, a human opponent, but it brings those same strategic choices into play. It feels really good. It's not just, this is a co-op game that, that really builds your skill set for playing in the versus mode. Um, so I like that. And just a reminder to everybody, uh, Peter was talking about, you know, it's, it, we're... Uh, it, it's it sucks that it's it's not out yet, but Wise Wizard Games, this uh, this mod that I'm playing on on TTS today, you can pick this up. Just go to the Kickstarter page for the Sorcerer Endbringer. The most recent update from Rob, at the time of this filming, has the link in it for you to go grab the mod. And if you don't have a tabletop simulator, it's only twenty dollars. Sometimes it's on sale for ten. And you can play this and many other games. But I think it's cool that all the content for Sorcerer is in this mod. So you can go nuts and try stuff and, and play this, even if you don't have the physical copy yet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for It's very important for us. Um, I can I can speak with, uh, with uh, as a whole team, because I know Rob's uh, mindset and so on. We are not a fan of something like a second edition, third edition, fourth edition, and to have a Kickstarter for one sim singular game in three editions, just because we do not, we find out during the, the lifetime of the game that something can be better. We are not a fan of this. We are a fan that when you will, when you will get our game, you will get this edition, and there will be nothing like a second, third edition because we need to put out some erratas in it and so on. That's not how we work. 
therefore, Yenbringer uh, gets you a soul. Uh, 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 this is a boss battling game. It's a boss battler. We have some we have some uh, flavor text there. You can manage how you you how how you are uh, how you are uh, beating the bosses and so on. But it's at the end of the day, this is a boss battling game. So do not expect something like the epic campaign, like uh, Arkham Horror and so on. Not yet. This is the boss battler. Uh, that means uh, it's in the Aeons and Fashion and those games that you have one big boss and scenarios and you are playing against him. In Sorcerer, the Sorcerer is also a PvP, so we are playing against player that that was main uh, that was the first uh, that was the first uh, iteration of the game, and <clears throat> playing solo is also a, an opportunity to you to get better. Mm -hmm. In this solo mode, you can just find out. You can just train on yourself on your own, right? Mm -hmm. You can you can train on your own. You can just put this game into hard mode, and lose and losing, 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 losing again and losing again, <laughs> and you will. And, and the fact is, you will get better. You will yeah. definitely get better. And this will, sure. as Rick said, this will translate into the into the game against other players. So that's it. Uh, yeah, that that's that's it. I'm I'm speaking of myself. Uh, I'm pretty 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 happy right now. Of the state of the game, mm -hmm. that this solo thing is there, that the co-op is there because I am a huge fan of co-op games, and I can tell to every anyone, uh, this was a, a huge challenge. After designing Endbringer, I told, uh, don't get me seriously because it's not true, but I told to Rob and to myself, I will never ever do a cooperative game. <laughs> There was nothing as challenging as to design an AI, as to design a opponent, which is basically a piece of paper. The cooperative games just kudos to every designer that is building up the co-op games, because when you are designing a game where everyone has the has the same opportunity to win the same way. Mm -hmm. You just give everyone the same choice, but to, to 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 bring a cooperative game, it's you against the paper, and the paper <laughs> needs to be a worthy opponent yeah. and still beatable. Yeah, and yeah, that for me this this was really a challenge. That that was a hardcore challenge for me. So yeah, yeah that's it. And thank you very much, Rick. Uh, as, as it was said before, you are a great uh, performer. How to say? Well, thank you. You have a thank great you. presence, yes. <laughs> well, thanks so much. And I, I appreciate you, Peter, because I know this has been like five or so hours of your time. So thanks so nice. much for taking the time to play and to and to take two days because we had to split this into two sessions. I appreciate you coming back and, and playing oh, the sure. playing the game through. It was a, a was a blast. So Rick, I'm glad we will be here again. So Yeah. No, not a problem. All right. Well, thank you, Peter. Thank you, everybody. And hopefully.